Chapter 841 Ji Chang Kong Translator Born to be Long Chen was incredibly fast. Although the Blood Python race's rank 3 celestial had moved first, Long Chen caught up to him in just a few breaths. Perhaps the lightning body blink had a few flaws, making it not as good as Len Yuan's netherworld ghost steps. But when it came to traveling in a straight line, his speed definitely surpassed hers. Trying to run from Long Chen was just a joke. Even Zhu Yu hadn't been able to escape despite him fleeing with his treasure item, let alone this fool. Boom. Flying rainbow slashed down. The rank 3 celestial hastily blocked with his whip. As a result, he was sent flying by Long Chen. Using the force of the collision, his speed was momentarily increased by quite a bit. But the price for it was that he vomited three mouthfuls of blood noveloon.com. His speed was pushed beyond his limit like never before. Just as he was hoping that he could use this speed to escape, a terrifying wind came from behind him. Another attack whistled towards him. Boom. Long Chen once more slashed down with his sword. As a result, the rank 3 celestial vomited more blood and had his speed increase again. From a distance, it was like a person was kicking a ball, then chased after that ball and viciously kicked it again. The ball was getting faster and faster, and its speed was already past the eye's ability to track moving objects. However, the person behind it was even faster, and each attack would increase its speed more. How is this possible? What speed is this? The rank 3 celestial was roaring furiously inside. He was tumbling through the air like a shooting star. His current speed was entirely because of Long Chen. This speed was far past his limit. If this continued, the wind was going to crush his body. But even after all this, Long Chen was still able to catch up and accelerate him slash after slash. Then he needed to block with his full power on every occasion. Each time he blocked, he would feel his inner organs being heavily shaken and his arms being broken over and over again. Then Long Chen would need a few breaths to catch up to him. He used those few breaths to use the Heavenly Dao recovery and would only just recover when Long Chen's next attack arrived. He blocked. He was injured. His speed increased. He healed. And then the cycle repeated. He was stuck in an unending cycle, unable to control even his own body as he flew through the air. Bastard, you are provoking the ancient race's PFFT. Brat, the Blood Python race will destroy your sect and family PFFT. If you stop now, there will still be room to talk. PFFT, it was very obvious the rank 3 celestial was finally afraid. This move of Long Chen's was extremely vicious. He was flying through the air out of control. He couldn't even change his trajectory, let alone release one of his powerful moves. Long Chen had set up this death trap in the air, and his attacks were growing more and more vicious. The rank 3 celestial was constantly being injured. Now, with each attack, his arm would shatter. He almost lost his hold of his whip. If he lost it, he would immediately be cut down. But even with it, he was constantly being injured and forced to use up his heavenly Dao energy to heal. He wouldn't be able to hold on for long. At the same time, he understood Long Chen's sinister plan. Long Chen was forcing him to rapidly use up his energy, all to make it so he would find himself powerless. He was stuck in his death trap. The tempo was entirely under Long Chen's control. It could be said that his death was faded as soon as he had fallen into this trap. He wasn't wrong. Long Chen knew that experts on this level all had countless trump cards. Furthermore, they were supported by karmic luck, which made them difficult to kill. In truth, when he first attacked, he hadn't been thinking of this trap. But by the third hit, he realized this was a good method. He could play this fellow to death. And so he directly began to exhaust his energy. Did he give a damn if he was a part of the ancient races? He didn't. They were enemies. And there was no need to be soft-hearted toward enemies. At the same time, he was testing whether he really could kill an innate rank 3 celestial. He wanted to confirm something. The two of them rapidly flew through the air. As he constantly attacked, Long Chen sensed his opponent's aura growing weaker and weaker. He was clearly running out of his core energy. He continued to keep a close watch over his opponent's aura as he attacked. He was searching for an opportunity to cut him down. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, I finally found you. This voice was full of delight and excitement, but also dense hostility. A ray of sword key slashed toward Long Chen. Long Chen's heart shook. He was surprised someone would attack him here. Furthermore, from the immense pressure, this person was also a peak expert. Boom. That attack was extremely refined and it blocked Long Chen from continuing forward. He had no choice but to slash his sword to block the sword key. However, he was forced back. This person was powerful. Ha ha ha. Long Chen. I bet you never thought we would meet here. 
this newcomer appeared in the air with wings on his back and runes circulating around him, which made him look like a blazing sun. Ji Chang Kong, Long Chen's pupil shrank slightly. This person was the remote heaven gang's number one disciple, the one Ouyang Qiuayu had told him to be wary of. Floating in the air, Ji Chang Kong stared at Long Chen with an icy and sinister smile. Brother Chang Kong, the blood python expert was clearly familiar with him. He stopped fleeing and stood beside Ji Chang Kong. He asked, Do you know who he is? The blood python race had a bit of connection with the remote heaven gang. The remote heaven gang was the eastern wasteland's largest gang, and so its scope was extremely broad. It did business with quite a few ancient races. Those ancient races didn't like interacting with the outside world, but there were some things they had no choice but to buy, and the remote heaven gang was the best partner for that. The remote heaven gang would occasionally send some disciples to form some rather good relationships with the ancient races. So Ji Chang Kong recognized the blood python expert. Although the ancient races were arrogant and looked condescendingly upon the rest of the world, they still had to be respectful to an expert like Ji Chang Kong. They had exchanged pointers, and he knew he wasn't Ji Chang Kong's match. Now that Ji Chang Kong had taken action to save him, his first thought was to learn about Long Chen's identity. Why was it that he had never heard of such a vicious character in the eastern wasteland? He is Long Chen. Previously, he was completely obscure, but later, he obtained some unknown dog shit luck that caused his reputation to soar. Then he began to consider everyone else beneath him. This idiot sect is our remote heaven gang's opponent, the Zhuanshan Dao sect so I'm sure brother Lai Yan knows what to do, said Ji Chang Kong. Long Chen? It seems I have heard of this name. Fuck. This bastard killed quite a few people from my blood python race. I'll tear him apart. Don't worry, brother Chang Kong. If that Zhuanshan Dao sect dares to not appreciate kindness and tries to find trouble for your remote heaven gang, my blood python race will definitely stand by your side, swore the blood python expert. Ji Chang Kong smiled. His remote heaven gang had been secretly engaging in business all around in order to form relationships. It was all to get these ancient races and ancient families support. They had to gather those powers so that they could challenge the Zhuanshan Dao sect even if the Zhuanshan Dao sect was powerful. It couldn't possibly become enemies with all the eastern wasteland's powers, right? The Zhuanshan Dao sect clearly felt that they were above the remote heaven gang. Other than interacting with a few of their subordinate powers, they rarely interacted much with the rest of the cultivation world. So the remote heaven gang's leader, Ji Hongling, had been planning on showing their power to everyone right before the immemorial path had opened. As a result, in front of everyone, she was beaten like a dog by Ouyang Qiuayu, and she had almost become a dead dog. Who asked her to be unlucky? Most of the ancient races and other powers that were friendly with the remote heaven gang had been at the other entrance, so no one had come to help her. As a result, Ji Hongling could only hand this mission to Ji Chang Kong. Once he entered the immemorial path, he was to go all out to slaughter the Zhuanshan Dao sect's main disciples. It would be best if he could kill them all. Long Chen, are you mute now? In front of the immemorial path, didn't you like to show off so much? Even Wang Junmo and Yu Chang Hao are interested in you. Why don't you say some final words now? Ji Chang Kong icily stared at Long Chen, his voice full of disdain as well as a bit of envy and hatred. His hatred stemmed from Wang Junmo and Yu Chang Hao, especially Yu Chang Hao. He was said to dominate the ancient races junior generation, the future leader of the ancient races. As soon as he had come, he had ignored him and provoked Long Chen. That was a humiliation to Ji Chang Kong. From start to end, Yu Chang Hao had ignored him. As for Wang Junmo, his arrival had also shaken everyone, causing all those young experts to hold their breath in fear. He had also targeted Long Chen while not giving a damn about him. So all this hatred would now be released on Long Chen. Is it his karmic luck, or is it my bad luck? Long Chen narrowed his eyes as he looked at Ji Chang Kong. Just what was karmic luck? Was it that the heavens were intentionally stopping him from killing one of their innate rank 3 celestials? Ji Chang Kong, have you come to lose your head with him? If that's the case, I am willing to help you out. Long Chen slowly raised his sword, pointing it at them. His aura began to condense. He knew that the true battle was about to start. My head? That's right. I wanted to send you a gift. Hopefully, you can kindly accept it. Ji Chang Kong suddenly smiled sinisterly, showing off a certain thing in his hand. When he saw that thing, Long Chen's gaze immediately became icy cold. His robes danced with no wind as his killing intent soared into the heavens. 
Chapter 842 A Beauty's Head Translator Born to be that was a head, a human head, and it was a beauty's head. Those eyes were filled with unwillingness and rage, as well as humiliation. The owner of this head came from the same sect as Long Chen. She was acclaimed as one of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's four heavenly geniuses, the only woman amongst them, Zhang Wuian. She had actually been killed. Although Zhang Wuian definitely hadn't had a good relationship with Long Chen, and the two of them could even be counted as enemies. Seeing her head in front of him still infuriated Long Chen. His killing intent unconsciously began to brew. I'm pleased to see you like this. You should know. I spent a great deal of effort to get this girl for you. I don't mind telling you. I didn't just kill her. I also enjoyed her before killing her. Regretfully, this woman might be beautiful. But once her clothes were off, she didn't have any of the feeling of a woman. However, I still clenched my teeth and went through with it. He, and in the end, she really was an amazing woman. Ha ha ha, laughed Ji Chang Kong, as if he were reminiscing. Good, you've succeeded in infuriating me. Congratulations. Lightning suddenly circulated around Long Chen, and he turned into a bolt of lightning shooting toward Ji Chang Kong. Ji Chang Kong was startled that Long Chen would suddenly attack without accumulating any power. Before he could react, Long Chen's sword was already piercing his chest. He was startled. This was his first time seeing such explosive strength, and he rapidly retreated. Boom. The front of Ji Chang Kong's robes exploded, revealing a golden soft armor on his body. But there was a large hole in that armor now. His blood slowly flowed out. He was both startled and enraged. If he hadn't retreated fast enough and had this armor to block the majority of the power, he might already be dead. This carelessness had caused him to walk right past the gates of hell. Cold sweat covered his back. Rumble. Long Chen's divine ring circulated and four stars floated in his eyes. His aura reached his peak. His sword once more slashed toward Ji Chang Kong. Brother Chang Kong. Be careful. He is incredibly fast. Warned the blood python expert. At the same time, he once more began to brandish his whip. Joining hands with Ji Chang Kong to fight Long Chen. Ji Chang Kong finally recovered from his shock. With a furious roar, he summoned his cry of the heavenly deos. Three colored runes erupted, forming a fierce sea around him. Ji Chang Kong was also an innate rank 3 celestial noveloon.com Long Chen. You can die now. A black spear appeared in Ji Chang Kong's hands. Its runes lit up, and it released a powerful pressure that caused space to tremble. That pressure was something only a treasure item could possess. Boom. Long Chen's sword slashed onto his spear. Terrifying power erupted as endless runes raged in the sky. Powerful shockwaves spread, shattering mountains and blowing dust into the air. Long Chen was forced back, enraged. Ji Chang Kong's spear was a heavy weapon. Its strongest aspect was indirect attacks. So for Long Chen to use Flying Rainbow against him put him at a disadvantage. Flying Rainbow was a sword whose best aspect was its sharpness, but it was impossible for it to sever another weapon that had reached the treasure item level. Furthermore, Long Chen wasn't proficient in sword techniques. He wielded it but used his saber techniques. Blood Drinker was in a critical moment. Long Chen couldn't disturb it, or all its previous efforts would be wasted. He could only endure. Long Chen was forced back, but he also borrowed that to dodge the Blood Python expert's whip. His wings suddenly shook, and his retreating figure came to a sudden stop. Long Chen used Split the Heavens against the Blood Python expert. He was the weakest here and the easiest to kill first. Although his combat power was much weaker, his whip was extremely strange. If he used it in the right manner, it could lead to a sudden victory for them. The blood python expert didn't dare to receive Long Chen's slash head on. He hastily dodged to the side. Boom. The sword key slashed onto the ground and straight through any mountains it met, cutting a long ditch. Careful. Kai Ankan severing spear. Ji Chang Kong suddenly shouted and stabbed his spear to the space beside the blood python expert. Long Chen had already appeared there without notice. Long Chen's sword caused space to tremble, and the blood python expert realized he was also locked down by it. His soul almost fled in fright. Boom. Long Chen's sword slashed onto Ji Chang Kong's spear. His attack was blocked, allowing the blood python expert to escape. But even so, for such a powerful attack to erupt right beside him, he immediately vomited blood and had half of his body crushed. Remote Heaven Grand Art. Ji Chang Kong was extremely startled. Long Chen's power had already far surpassed his expectations. He couldn't hold back any longer, and he activated one of his trump cards. The runic sea behind him began to surge, and then it entered his body. Ji Chang Kong's face became covered in countless runes, 
It looked like centipedes were crawling over his face, making him appear frightening. Boom. It was like a gate had been opened within his body. A fierce power soared out of him, as if some beast was awakening within him. Long Chen, I'll let you experience my true power, roared Ji Chang Kong. His spear suddenly began to dance, transforming into thousands of spear images that attacked Long Chen. After this exchange, Long Chen was already aware that Ji Chang Kong was a brute power expert. He had used a secret technique to explosively increase his power. However, Long Chen was fearless. He suddenly changed his stance and held his sword with both hands. His four stars circulated as endless energy poured into his arms. Sword key slashed through the air, and spear images filled the sky. A terrifying power was clashing through the land. That sound was something that could be heard 10,000 miles away. It was a world-shaking battle. There were actually quite a few experts stealthily roaming through the 10,000 beast forest. The vast forest definitely held countless natural treasures. If they were lucky, they might be able to capture an ancient magical beast as a houseboat, or perhaps even capture their younglings or eggs. However, they all knew that there were countless powerful magical beasts around them. They had to conceal their auras like thieves to avoid being noticed by those magical beasts. Although they were in groups, they still had to be careful. They weren't afraid of one magical beast, but they had to be worried about a fight that had the potential to draw over the other surrounding magical beasts. Just as they were carefully searching, they heard an explosive battle erupting. Furthermore, that aura was clearly not the aura of magical beasts fighting each other. Just who is so stupid as to fight here? Do they not want their lives? Countless people sneered, feeling like whoever was fighting was too much of an idiot. This kind of battle would definitely draw over the magical beasts. It was suicide. But those sneers quickly turned into shock. That battle's aura was rapidly growing, and the pressure was growing more and more terrifying. Even from such a distance, their hearts were quivering. Heavens, what level of fight is this? After their shock, they all became curious and rapidly snuck over. As for the surrounding magical beasts, they were intimidated and constantly roaring, warning invaders not to intrude into their territory. Magical beasts might not be very intelligent, but they had their own instincts. When their opponents or a far surpassed them, they would shrink back. None of the magical beasts dared to move. Even the people rushing through their territory were ignored. As long as none of them attacked, they wouldn't attack either. As a result, a huge mass of disciples quickly gathered on the edge of the battlefield. Once they arrived, they were all horrified. There were three figures fighting intensely in the sky. Their treasure items were releasing immense power. The ground was completely ruined, and the sky was quivering as powerful shockwaves erupted. Isn't that Ji Chang Kong from the Eastern Wasteland's number one gang? He's claimed to be the remote heaven gang's number one genius. Someone immediately recognized Ji Chang Kong because he was extremely famous. The other one seems to be the blood python race's Li Yan. He's also claimed as the number one genius of his race. It was precisely because they recognized those two people that they were shocked. But it was the corrupt experts that were silent. They had recognized the other person. That person's name was like a nightmare to the corrupt path. Who is that person? He's so strong. Asked someone in shock. He saw that Ji Chang Kong and Lai Yan were working together. But victory or defeat Chiring was still difficult to determine. Even two against one. They were unable to do anything to their opponent. So just how strong did that person have to be? He's Long Chen from the Zhuanshan Dao sect he's said to be a legend. Three years ago, he was just a nameless brat, but he suddenly soared like a shooting star. Becoming a monster within the Zhuanshan Dao sect it's said that the word genius can no longer be used to describe him. This battle drew more and more people, but they all just watched from a distance, not daring to get closer. Even ordinary rank 3 celestials didn't dare to get closer. It was the difference in power that cowered them. Up in the sky, Long Chen's power was overflowing. His battle with the other two had reached a stalemate, becoming a battle of attrition. Against the two of them, over 80% of his power was focused on Ji Chang Kong. There was no need to doubt his power. As for the Blood Python expert, he was originally injured and his spiritual Yuan was low. However, he was very crafty and kept attacking Long Chen from behind Ji Chang Kong, not letting him get close. Long Chen was sneering inside. Ji Chang Kong wanted to compete in terms of endurance with him, with his divine ring. He could maintain this tempo until next year. As long as he didn't use any big moves, his spiritual Yuan wouldn't dip at all. Long Chen, you killed my full moon race's disciples. Hand over your life. Just at that moment, a furious roar shook the heavens. A figure charged into the battlefield. A huge broadsword slashing down. 
Chapter 843 Giant Body Translator Born to be Long Chen was startled. This attack was coming from behind him. Even before the attack came, he sensed a powerful wind, and the space around him had been solidified. Furthermore, he was also facing Ji Chang Kong and the Blood Python expert from the front. There was no way for him to dodge, nor was there a way for him to block with his sword. With an icy snort, he summoned golden scales and formed a barrier around himself. The thick wall of scales was blown apart. That was well within Long Chen's expectations as his goal was only to weaken this attack. He had just blocked the Blood Python expert's whip as well as Ji Chang Kong's spear. But at this moment, his left hand suddenly reached back, covered in thunder force. In front of those hidden spectator shocked gazes, he grabbed the tip of the broadsword. Is he crazy? He's grabbing a treasure item with his bare hand. That was a treasure item. Once it released its power, it could directly crush him. Did Long Chen not want his life any longer? Long Chen caught the broadsword, and only then did he get a look at who was attacking him. It was a large, stocky man with a horn on his head. Long Chen suddenly recalled that he had seen this person before. Back then, he had been the one leading the full moon races experts before the immemorial path had opened. On Insect Island, he had truly killed full moon disciples and giant eagle disciples. But the rest of those people had later died on Insect Island to that sea of insects. He didn't know how this person was aware of this fact. However, he also couldn't be bothered to quibble, nor would he refuse to admit it. The hand holding the broadsword suddenly pulled back. The full moon expert was also an innate rank 3 celestial. Seeing that Long Chen dared to grab his treasure item with his bare hand and actually dared to pull it away, he was infuriated. His power surged out. He was just about to activate his treasure item's power to kill Long Chen. But just as his spiritual Yuan was about to pour into his weapon, Long Chen's flying rainbow slashed toward his wrist. That sharp aura gave him a chill. He immediately realized that Long Chen intended to snatch his treasure item. If Long Chen's sword landed on his wrist, then even if he circulated his spiritual Yuan to block, it would still be severed. Long Chen would then easily take his treasure item. He immediately became dumbfounded. His sneak attack had failed, and now he had landed in this kind of situation in the blink of an eye. He didn't even know what to do. He instinctively poured his spiritual Yuan into his broadsword hoping to activate its power before Long Chen's sword could reach him. PFFT. Flying rainbow severed his wrist, but Long Chen's left hand, and even his entire arm, was blown apart. His bones were revealed. The full moon expert hadn't been as fast as Long Chen, but a portion of his spiritual Yuan had still entered his broadsword. An immense power had blown apart Long Chen's arm. His left arm was now a pulp, but the full moon expert's hand had also left his body along with his broadsword. Long Chen tried to grab the broadsword, but it was shockingly heavy, too heavy to hold it with his injured arm. It hadn't recovered from the impact, and he was actually unable to keep hold of the broadsword. It began to fall. He was just about to chase after it when golden light shone behind him. The Blood Python expert's golden whip released a piercing light, blocking his movement. Furthermore, Ji Chang Kong's spear was stabbing toward his back. Long Chen had no chance to grab that treasure item and could only raise his sword to block. With their help, the full moon expert hastily grabbed back his broadsword and hand. Activating his heavenly Dao runes, he reattached his hand. His fury had soared to a new level. Their ancient races possessed a secret art that allowed them to distinguish the killers of their clansmen. They would all be infected by a special aura that only the ancient races could sense. So denying it didn't have any use. He had just been drawn over to the battle when he sensed that aura from Long Chen's body. So he had immediately attacked wanting to kill him in one blow. One reason was that he wanted to avenge his fallen clansmen, while another was because the ancient races also had good relationships among themselves. This way, he could get a favor from the Blood Python race. He had thought that even if he didn't kill Long Chen in one blow, he would still be dead in just a few exchanges. But there truly had only been one exchange, and in this one exchange, his hand was severed. Furthermore, that was in a situation where he was the sneak attacker. This severed hand was an immense humiliation. He could sense the shocked gazes from countless spectators. He could even feel them thinking that the Grand Full Moon Race's number one junior expert was actually so useless. Long Chen, I will kill you and your entire family the Full Moon Race's expert roared. Countless runes lighting up his body. His body started to rapidly expand, and his muscles began to bulge with explosive power. Boom. Long Chen had just forced back the Blood Python expert and Ji Chang Kong when the full moon expert's broadsword whistled toward him. Long Chen was startled. 
This full moon expert was extremely powerful, but then seeing the horn on his head, he realized he was perhaps related to the ancient rhinoceros magical beast. Even blocking with his full power, he was still sent flying. Long Chen snorted. If it weren't for the fact that flying rainbow wasn't his kind of weapon, how could he lose in terms of power? Double dragon destruction. Long Chen was in the midst of flying back, while the other three were rushing toward him, wanting to kill him in one surge. But he suddenly raised his hands and two huge dragons soared out, roaring. A powerful aura crashed down on them like waves crashing against the shore. The three of them were horrified. They hadn't expected Long Chen to possess such a powerful attack. They sensed an immense threat from these two dragons. Full Moon Slash. Remote Heaven Blood Cree Spear. Blood Python overflows the earth. The three of them didn't dare to hold back. They released their strongest moves and space began to rumble. Boom. The four attacks collided, forming a huge ball in the air. The inside of that ball was full of fierce powers colliding together, which then suddenly exploded. It was like the void had erupted, and a harsh light filled the air. When everyone's sight recovered, they were horrified to see that Long Chen and the others were already fighting again. What kind of monsters are they? Even after such a terrifying blast, they still weren't injured. Perhaps they weren't injured, but their auras are clearly weaker. It probably won't be long before they run out of power, said one expert. Everyone hastily sensed their auras and found out that they really had weakened by quite a bit. Long Chen hadn't been holding back with his attack. He had directly summoned Lai Long and Huo Long's true bodies. With this one attack, not only had he released all their power, but it had also taken a great deal of his spiritual yuan. The two of them returned to his arms to rest. Just at this moment, Long Chen raised his sword, about to release the second form of Split the Heavens. To dare bully my brother Long, I'll smash you to death. Suddenly, a furious roar rang out. It was like the roar of a heavenly god. A large figure rushed over. Wild. Long Chen had never expected that Wild would appear. He was three meters tall, looking like a small giant. As he rushed over, the ground constantly shook. His speed was actually greater than them flying. He stamped on the ground and shot up like a cannonball. The ground shattered, but he appeared in front of Ji Chang Kong and the others in an instant. Where did this idiot come from? Scram. The full moon expert saw that Wild didn't summon his heavenly Dao runes, nor did he release any battle skills. He furiously slashed his broadsword at Wild. Boom. Wild raised his bone club. As a result, he was sent flying and smashed into the ground by the full moon expert. A small crater appeared on the ground. Long Chen was startled. He was just about to go see if Wild was injured when he shot back up, roaring, Now it's my turn. Let me handle him. The blood python expert sneered. He shot toward Wild, his whip growing to become 300 meters, coiling around him. Long Chen knew Wild didn't specialize in fighting in the air. Jumping up like this to fight meant he couldn't use any power. Furthermore, this child was too foolish. It seemed he thought he had to jump up to their height in order to fight. As a result, by the time he reached their height, he had no more power left. That was why he was forced back by the full moon expert. Up in the air, he had no way to release his power. And instead of jumping with extra power, he was jumping exactly to their height. After all this time, his muscles had grown, but his intelligence hadn't improved in the slightest. Long Chen was just about to summon the golden scales to help him when Wild suddenly let out a bestial roar. In front of everyone's appalled gazes, an ancient mark lit up on Wild's forehead. His body instantly grew ten times larger. Everyone, including Long Chen, felt their scalps turn numb. Was he still human? How could he become such a giant? It wasn't just Wild that got larger. Even the bone club in his hand grew proportionately. It couldn't even be called a club anymore. It was more like a huge pillar. At 30 meters tall, Wild was an absolute giant. Up in the air, his huge bone club smashed toward the bone python expert. Scram. Chapter 844 Killed with a Single Smash Translator Born to be a whistling key wave shattered the ground and ruined the mountains. This was a terrifying power that no one had ever seen before. The blood python expert hastily brandished his whip to block. But in front of that huge club, his whip was like a child's toy. He had no ability to resist and was blasted into bloody mist. As for the golden whip, it was unknown how far it was sent flying. Everyone, including Long Chen, felt their hearts skip a beat. This scene was too terrifying. A descendant of the barbarian race? What a pure bloodline. How could this be possible? Muttered the eastern wasteland bell to itself. Run. Ji Chang Kong was the first to flash into motion. He was terrified of wild and he hastily fled. This kind of power wasn't something a human could resist. 
The Blood Python expert had been an innate rank 3 celestial with a treasure item, but he was killed in one blow, without the slightest ability to resist. That made him completely terrified. That was absolute power, a power that was impossible to resist. If he still didn't run, then he would have to be suicidal. Want to leave? Leave your life behind first. Long Chen snorted. As soon as Wilde had attacked, he had felt that the other two might flee, so he had already started forming hand seals. Raging flame prison. Countless flame runes suddenly appeared around the two of them. However, Long Chen's expression changed Novaloon.com he had forgotten that his earth flame had already used up all its energy, and as a result, the raging flame prison was clearly formed slower. When it had begun to surround the two of them, cracks had appeared. Ji Chang Kong rushed to one of those cracks without even hesitating. As for the full moon expert, he also fled with his full power. He could tell that this was a terrifying magical art, and once he was trapped, he would be doomed. Sorry, I'll need to borrow your body for a moment. Ji Chang Kong suddenly sent a kick at the full moon expert. The full moon expert was startled and instinctively blocked. His expression suddenly changed. He finally realized Ji Chang Kong's sinister goal. Ji Chang Kong, you are courting death, but his furious roar had no use. Ji Chang Kong had already used the stepping force to increase his speed and pierce out through the crack within the flame prison. In the blink of an eye, he disappeared in front of everyone. While Ji Chang Kong flew away, he felt like he was forgetting something. However, he couldn't remember. It was only a few days later that he suddenly recalled that he had seen that giant previously. He didn't know that after Wild had attacked once, he had fallen from the sky powerlessly, his body returning to his original size. After just one attack, he had used up all his energy. There was no way for him to attack again. The full moon expert was now trapped within the raging flame prison. That attack from Ji Chang Kong had made him too slow to escape, and now there was no opening to be found. Seeing Ji Chang Kong flee, Long Chen felt a bit helpless. If the earth flame had retained just half of its power, the raging flame prison would have formed much quicker, and Ji Chang Kong wouldn't have been able to escape. But at least he had caught one fish. So it wasn't bad. It was just that his flame energy was too weak now. As a result, he had needed to draw more energy from the world. If he did that too fast, it would cause an imbalance in the energy, which would not only cause the prison to fail to form, but also create a backlash. The full moon expert crazily attacked the flame prison, but it was like a multi-layered net. No matter how he attacked, he wasn't able to break the runic chains formed from the world's flame energy. Long Chen formed new hand seals and an incantation filled the air. It was like the chanting of gods, sacred and divine. He had activated the Nirvana scripture. Following that, the world's flame energy surged toward him, and a sea of runes appeared behind his body. Those runes contained endless flame energy. That sea of runes was something he had used to resist the cry of the heavenly deos back in the pill tower. Only now did he realize just how badly he had been mistaken about its power. This Nirvana scripture was extremely mysterious and its power seemed limitless. Even if he had no flame energy left, even if he had no power at all, as long as he began to chant it, endless flame energy would surge toward him. Only when he activated the Nirvana scripture would Long Chen feel like the heavens cared for him. The world's flame energy felt so intimate to him. As the Nirvana scripture circulated, boundless energy entered the raging flame prison. It began to grow stronger, and even Long Chen's earth flame began to slowly recover. The raging flame prison began to shrink, pressing a terrifying heat toward the full moon expert. He was horrified. He found that no matter how he resisted, he was unable to stop the encroachment of the flame energy. Even his spiritual yuan was being ignited. It wouldn't be long before he was burned to death. Long Chen, release me. Quickly release me. Otherwise, your sect, your family fuck off. Long Chen raged. This was the kind of thing he hated hearing the most. People threatening to destroy his sect and family. Originally, he had been planning on slowly roasting him, but now he couldn't wait. Flame prison death blow. The flame prison rapidly shrank, becoming just a foot wide. The full moon expert didn't even have a chance to make a sound before being turned to ash. All the spectators were terrified. They had personally seen two of the ancient race's strongest experts being killed. They practically couldn't believe their eyes. It had to be known that the ancient races had countless inheritances and countless experts. Furthermore, they were very protective. Now that Long Chen had killed the two of them, he had provoked an immense disaster. The flame prison disappeared and a broadsword fell from the sky. A figure suddenly rushed over, grabbed it, and fled. This person was clearly extremely crafty. 
He had timed everything perfectly. Long Chen was in an exhausted state, so the chance of him obtaining it was extremely high. However, he had only just grabbed it when countless golden scales flew over. He was instantly turned into mincemeat. Long Chen smiled coldly. He wanted to take advantage? How could it be possible for such a good thing to happen? He never worked for free. The treasure he had worked so hard for couldn't land in someone else's hands. Long Chen naturally wouldn't be merciful to someone trying to snatch what was his. Originally, there had also been several others lying in wait to take advantage. But now seeing Long Chen suddenly take out this many soul items, they all felt a chill. Grabbing the broadsword, Long Chen smiled. This work really hadn't been for nothing. Now that he had obtained this broadsword, everything was worth it. The broadsword was six feet long and was to be used with both hands. It was four inches wide and one and a half inches thick. Its weight was not bad. Long Chen guessed it was at least over three million pounds. Although it was still too light for him, it was much more comfortable than using Flying Rainbow. Flying Rainbow was truly too light. He wasn't able to use any of his power. Swinging the broadsword, space trembled. Long Chen was delighted. With this heavy weapon, his battle power had increased by quite a bit. He had only just put it away when he saw quite a few people flying away in a certain direction. He was first startled, but then he realized that was the direction the Blood Python expert's whip had flown. However, Wild's attack had reached a level of power that was out of a human's understanding. No one knew how far that whip had flown. The battle here was over. There was nothing more to see, nor was there any way to take advantage. So these people suddenly thought of that priceless treasure item. They began frantically rushing over. If their luck was good, they could pick up a treasure for nothing. Although Long Chen was in a weak state right now, that immense battle had intimidated them all. Even the rank 3 celestials didn't dare to attack Long Chen. They all left. Some people were unwilling and continued to watch in secret, but Long Chen ignored them. He ran over to Wild's side and was startled to see that he was pale white. Wild, what's going on? Are you injured? Long Chen supported him, investigating his body. It was only natural that after using such immense power, he would receive a powerful backlash. Brother Long, I can't hold on any longer, said Wild feebly. Don't mess around, you'll be fine. Long Chen cut him off. Brother Long, I really can't hold on. I'm going to die from hunger. I need food, said Wild urgently. What the fuck? Long Chen was speechless. Originally, he had thought that Wild was heavily injured, but he had just used up too much energy and needed food. The source of Wild's energy was meat. Currently, Wild was so hungry that he had an urge to swallow his own arm. Long Chen hastily looked through the primal chaos space. He saw a magical beast's corpse that had only been half devoured by the black soil. Half of it was still above the ground. He hastily tore off two of its legs. That was a seventh rank magical beast. A six horn gold bull. A single leg was like a small mountain. Seeing those two legs, Wild immediately pounced. He tore into them directly devouring huge mouthfuls. Watching that, Long Chen felt a chill. He turned away, unable to watch. But he noticed that when Wild began to bloodily eat the bull's legs, a few of those hidden spectators disappeared silently. A seventh-rank magical beast's flesh was something that even enchanted items would have a difficult time piercing. But Wild was easily eating it. The most terrifying thing was that no one knew just where this flesh was going after he had consumed it. Was Wild's stomach a spatial bag? After consuming those two legs, Wild was slightly better off. He finally had the energy to speak. Long Chen asked him how he had come here. Wild said that it was Guo Ran who had found him and brought him to this place. Once he had arrived here, he had been incredibly excited. He had immediately treated this forest as his own home, constantly eating. What about Li Qi and Song Mingyuan? Asked Long Chen suddenly. They, they. Wild didn't dare to look at Long Chen. Long Chen immediately thought of something and shouted, Don't lie to me. Tell me the truth. Chapter 845 Time to refine the sea merging pill translator. Born to be they refused to stay with me and left on their own. They told me to keep it secret. Said Wild. He wasn't able to lie to Long Chen. Those two bastards. They really are asking to be slapped. Long Chen couldn't help being enraged. Weren't they just causing trouble for no reason? This was the immemorial path. Rank 1 Celestials were just cannon fodder here. Without Wild's protection, if they ran into any trouble, the chances of them surviving were very low. But if they had been with Wild, he could have given them the Heavenly Day of Fruits and have them immediately advance to Rank 3 Celestials. Long Chen's expression was ugly. He looked at the two new Heavenly Day of Fruits in the primal chaos space. 
which had come from the blood python expert and the full moon expert. Originally, he had been full of delight, but that delight was ruined now when learned that Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had gone off on their own. Their chances of surviving in the immemorial path were extremely remote. Brother Long, Li Qi said that they couldn't always rely on you. They want to be able to be responsible for themselves. They can't always be holding you back. Seeing Long Chen's frightening expression, Wild only dared to open his mouth after a long moment. Hearing this, Long Chen's heart softened and he couldn't help but sigh. Living in this world sometimes made him feel so helpless. On the cultivation path, no one could forever advance through other people's help. They had to rely on themselves. Long Chen could make it more convenient for them, but in order to grow, they needed to rely on themselves. The price of growth was often having to face death. Their choice wasn't wrong. Long Chen suddenly felt that the one in the wrong was him. Caring too much could instead slow down people's progress, limiting their room for personal growth. But although he understood that principle, he couldn't follow it. He couldn't watch as his brothers faced such dangers while standing completely aloof. But from Li Qi and Song Mingyuan's viewpoint, Long Chen treated them as his brothers, and they also treated him as their brother. When Long Chen faced countless powerful experts, when he crossed mountains of blades or seas of fire, they had to have been feeling the same thing he was feeling, and they must have been feeling it even worse than him, because they didn't have the power to protect him. They would feel useless, ashamed of their own inferiority. Perhaps it had been precisely because of that torment that they had been so brazen as to ignore his orders and also bet on their own lives, looking for their own opportunities to get stronger. Long Chen sighed. He felt so powerless, as well as angry. As he gradually got stronger, his luck got progressively worse. When he wanted treasures, he needed to put in ten or even a hundred times more effort than others. Senior, does karmic luck really exist? Long Chen suddenly asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell this question. He very much wanted to know the answer. Of course, geniuses are products of heaven and earth condensing their karmic luck into certain people. They are blessed by the heavens, and from birth, it is fated that their luck will be better than others. They are heaven and earth's favorites, replied the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Then what am I? The trash they picked up, asked Long Chen. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was silent for a moment. In truth, you yourself should know the answer as to why your luck is so lacking. There's no need to ask the question if you know the answer. In this case, there are many things that relate to some secrets. I can't say them. If I did, it wouldn't be good for you or me. All I can tell you is that it is fated that you will not be able to live off luck. You'll have to rely on power to fight for what you get, and nothing will be given to you for free. Long Chen bitterly smiled. As expected, against an existence that had existed for countless years, his thoughts were practically laid bare. No words were able to trick it into revealing information it didn't want to give. Then what I want to know is, how do I kill experts that are supported by karmic luck? Asked Long Chen. He felt like he was about to go crazy. Killing those people required way too much work. And there were always all kinds of interference. All you need to remember is that in front of absolute power, everything else is nothing. As long as you are strong enough, you can ignore karmic luck. Think about your barbarian friend. Just how many people could block that attack of his? So in front of overwhelming power, karmic luck is also useless. The existence known as karmic luck will only display some sort of use when two people's power is about the same. Once the difference is too great, karmic luck isn't able to do anything, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Absolute power. Long Chen's eyes brightened. He finally understood the crux of the problem. To put it frankly, he still wasn't strong enough. If he was so strong that he could surpass the restrictions of the heavenly deos, karmic luck would be nothing. Many thanks for your pointers, senior, said Long Chen. Don't be so courteous. To tell you the truth, I hope for you to quickly get stronger. Those two people you killed had exceptionally pure spiritual strength, and it was all absorbed by me. It was very helpful. Don't worry, my enemies fill this entire world. There are so many that I can't even kill them all, laughed Long Chen. But that laughter was also full of helplessness. Those arrogant idiots relied on the favoritism of the world to bully him. The unlucky bastard. Long Chen predicted that this opening of the immemorial path wouldn't be too peaceful. Long Chen once more chatted a bit with Wild. Just what was that immense power he had released in that battle? Wild said that this was a technique he had awakened back when Kang Miing had been killed. Previously, he hadn't realized it. But then he had encountered a terrifying magical beast in the immemorial path. In his fury, he had unconsciously grown into his giant form and killed that seventh-rank magical beast. 
Only then did he get a feel for his giant form. In truth, he had already activated it back when Kang Ming had died, but he had been in too much of a muddle-hated state back then. Once he had awakened, he had forgotten about it. The second time, he had activated it while clear-hated. But after killing the seventh rank magical beast, he had become incredibly hungry. He had directly consumed that seventh rank magical beast, but it still hadn't satisfied him. Beset by hunger, he had begun hunting for food all over. On the way, he had encountered attacks from the corrupt path. They were all killed by him. But Wilde remembered Long Chen's words. Unless he was starving to the point that he was about to die, he couldn't eat humans. Later, he had found quite a few magical beasts to allay his hunger. Then with Guo Ran's help, he had found Li Qi and Song Mingyuan. They had traveled together for a while. Once Guo Ran had brought them together, he had left to travel on his own. But then Li Qi and Song Mingyuan had also left. After that, Wilde had settled down here. Since ordinary 7th rank magical beasts could be killed with a single smash of his club, living here meant there would be plenty of tasty food for him. Don't you know how to use a spatial ring? Why didn't you store any food? Asked Long Chen. But then seeing Wilde's upset expression, he immediately shut his mouth. This fellow had definitely forgotten that spatial rings could store things. Long Chen thought to himself that the fact that Wilde could live to this day really was a miracle. He gave Wilde a spatial ring with huge space inside it. It was dozens of miles wide and should be enough to store quite a few magical beasts. The regretful thing was that Wilde had smashed the blood python expert with so much power that other than that whip, everything else on him had been destroyed. Furthermore, when Long Chen had used the flame prison death blow, the world's energy had been very berserk, turning the full moon expert to dregs. His spatial ring had also been destroyed. Let's go hunting. Long Chen brought Wild away. He summoned Little Snow and went deeper into the forest. On the way, he gave Little Snow a heavenly day of fruit. Little Snow, you should eat this fruit. Little Snow shook his head, refusing to eat it. Haha, <laughs> you're overthinking it. This is the heavenly day of fruit from that fellow that bullied you. They injured you. So you can eat this to vent your resentment, persuaded Long Chen. Little Snow was saying that eating it was just a waste. In truth, he only had two rank three heavenly day of fruits that had come from innate celestials. But he wanted to see if they could have a special effect on Little Snow. Although it was precious, although his hope was extremely remote, he still wanted to test it. A complicated expression appeared on Little Snow's face. But in the end, he wasn't able to change Long Chen's mind. He consumed the heavenly day of fruit. Regretfully, it still had no effect. Long Chen laughed and comforted Little Snow, saying that he had vented his anger, teasing him. But in truth, his heart was heavy. Despite that, he continued teasing Little Snow, trying to make him happier. Right now, Little Snow had just recovered and couldn't fight, but he could help them track some magical beasts. Ten days later, with Little Snow's assistance, Long Chen and Wild had killed dozens of 7th rank magical beasts. Of course, only 5 of them remained in Wild's spatial ring. The rest had all been eaten by him. There was no way around that. Wild told Long Chen that the giant form he had summoned was called the Barbarian Blood Bronze Body. It exhausted his blood key. So after using it, he would be indescribably hungry, as if he was about to die. He only made up for that blood key once he consumed dozens of magical beasts. After making up for the loss, they continued hunting. The recovered wild was incomparably terrifying. Ordinary 7th rank magical beasts were killed without being able to resist. Once, the two of them had encountered a silver armored lion eagle. It was an extremely powerful magical beast, with silver scales and wings, giving it both great defense and speed. It was practically an equal match for Menki's Rede Sacred Blood Phoenix. But wild had smashed it with a single club, making it dizzy. Then Long Chen had taken the advantage to directly cut off its head with a single slash of flying rainbow. Long Chen was truly amazed by Wild's power. He was the embodiment of the expression only people that know how to eat have energy. Furthermore, he found that Wild's luck was truly excellent. That random bone club he had found was definitely a treasure. The Eastern Wasteland Bell said that it was the leg bone of an elephant. Its original owner should have been a king-level magical beast. This bone possessed its natural runes which made it one of the most primitive king items. Once there were close to 50 magical beasts in Wild's storage ring, Long Chen stopped hunting with him. He had Wild continue hunting with Little Snow to keep up with his energy consumption. As for him, he found a quiet mountain cave and took out his pill furnace, as well as the newly obtained seven stamen sea hurt fruit. He, 
It's time to refine the sea merging pill and increase my power, laughed Long Chen, a trace of excitement in his voice. Chapter 846 12th of Vestige of Xianchen Translator Born to be a muffled bang came from Long Chen's pill furnace. A helpless expression appeared on his face. It's been so long since I did any alchemy. I feel out of practice. He looked at the pile of pill dregs in his pill furnace. Not even a single pill had formed. The seventh stamen sea hurt fruit was a seventh tier medicinal ingredient, while the sea merging pill was a seventh tier pill. And even amongst seventh tier pills, it would be one of the most difficult to refine. For most alchemists, their cultivation bases would have to reach sea expansion or above just to refine a sixth tier pill. Last time in the pill towers competition, he had refined the overflowing sea expanding pill. Although it was a sixth tier pill, it was something used by sea expansion experts. Because the requirements and difficulty in refining it were too low, it could not be counted as a seventh tier pill. A medicinal pills tier normally corresponded with the cultivator's cultivation base. First tier, key condensation. Second tier, blood condensation. Third tier, tendon transformation. Fourth tier, bone forging. Fifth tier, meridian opening. Sixth tier, Xianchen. Seventh tier, sea expansion. But there were also some special existences amongst medicinal pills. A prime example was the overflowing sea expanding pill. The overflowing sea expanding pill was one of the common medicinal pills for sea expansion experts. Its price was relatively low. Other than the overflowing sea expanding pill, there were also quite a few other popular medicinal pills with better medicinal effects. But their price was also multiple times higher. The sea expansion realm was also a money burning realm, just like bone forging. Borrowing the energy within medicinal pills, it was possible to expand the key sea even further. The better the medicinal pill, the greater the medicinal energy. As for the sea merging pill Long Chen was attempting to refine, it was a priceless treasure that sea expansion experts would long for even in their dreams. But in the outside world, he hadn't heard of the sea merging pill. It seemed that the world no longer possessed this medicinal pill, or perhaps the seven stamen sea hurt fruit was already extinct. So the medicinal pill had also disappeared. After failing a furnace of pills, Long Chen smiled slightly. He wouldn't get discouraged by something so reasonable. If the outside world learned that he dared to refine seventh tier medicinal pills with his Xianchen cultivation base, it would definitely frighten many old alchemists to death. Even alchemists whose cultivation bases had reached sea expansion wouldn't necessarily be able to refine a seventh tier medicinal pill. And even if they could, it would be the comparatively lower level ones, not ones like the sea merging pill. Those that could refine that level of pill would be grandmaster alchemists. Long Chen rested for two hours before attempting it a second time. In any case, he had a large pile of medicinal ingredients, and he didn't feel any pressure about failing. In the end, he failed seven times before succeeding, allowing him to sigh with relief. In truth, this failure rate was a large blow to him. He was someone who had received the inheritance of a pill god. Failing seven times in a row was too embarrassing. Of course, if people knew that he had refined the sea merging pill with his Xianchen cultivation base, it would definitely shake the entire alchemy world. There were three questions they would ask. Where did he get that much spiritual yuan? Where did he get that much soul energy? And where did he get such a powerful pill flame? Long Chen didn't just have all three of those requirements but he also had his pill god memories with profound alchemy experience. It would have been strange if he couldn't refine it. In the alchemy world, ordinary alchemists could only refine pills one tier below their cultivation base. If they could refine pills on the same tier as their cultivation base, they would be a genius. As for someone who could refine a pill with a higher tier than their cultivation base, there was one word for that. Nonsense. No one would believe such a thing. Three one-ring pills and the rest are middle grade. They're pretty much useless. Long Chen threw away the middle grade ones, leaving behind only the three one ring sea merging pills. He directly swallowed one of them. While swallowing it, he bound it with his spiritual yuan, not letting it immediately dissolve. That was a seventh tier medicinal pill, one that was used to forcibly increase the size of the key sea once it had already reached its limit. The amount of energy within it was immense. If a Xianchen expert ate it, it would be suicide. Once the pill dissolved, the terrifying medicinal energy would directly cause their key C to explode. If they were fortunate, they would just immediately die instead of being half dead from their destroyed key C. Even Long Chen wouldn't dare to just directly allow it to dissolve in his body. He wasn't using it to expand his key C, but to transform it into spiritual yuan to increase his cultivation base. 
There were seven flower marks on the sea merging pill, the same marks that were originally on the seven stamen sea hurt fruit. That was where the fruit's essence was condensed. Long Chen tested absorbing the medicinal energy bit by bit, but its medicinal energy was too powerful, and it was like gunpowder to him. As soon as he started refining it, its medicinal energy surged through his meridians. His meridians swelled as if a river was pouring into a canal. But Long Chen was relieved to see that his meridians were fine. It seemed he had been worried for nothing. But there was no way around that. His luck really was just so bad that he had no choice but to carefully advance. After bearing the first wave of medicinal energy, Long Chen was confident. He continued to release the medicinal energy. The energy was like a surging sea crashing through his body. This energy, which should have been used to push the limits of the key sea, had now been used to increase his cultivation base. That was an exceedingly brazen method, but its effect was remarkable. Long Chen could feel his cultivation base rapidly advancing. In the blink of an eye, half a month passed. Wild and little snow were roving around every day, and the surrounding magical beasts had all been consumed by them. Wild was currently hesitating over whether he should go further. Boom. Suddenly, the mountain Long Chen was in exploded and a powerful aura surged into the sky. Long Chen was surrounded by runes as he floated in the air, his eyes shining with a divine light. Ha ha ha. The sea merging pill really is too powerful. Just two pills had allowed him to reach the twelfth heaven stage. He was just one step from the sea expansion realm. His laughter echoed throughout the land, filled with delight. The sea merging pill had an even greater effect than he had imagined. He had reached the peak of the Xi'anshan realm now. It had been three months since he had entered the immemorial path and there were still three months until the spiritual key eruption in the immemorial path would occur. That was the best time to advance to sea expansion. But suddenly, Long Chen thought of a problem. The sea expansion realm referred to expanding the key sea, but he didn't even have a danshan. Where was his key sea? He then suddenly laughed. He really had begun getting afraid over nothing. When had the nine-star hegemon body art ever disappointed him? Brother Long, you've advanced to sea expansion. Wild ran over excitedly. The fact that Wild even knew about sea expansion could count as amazing. Little Snow also ran over, intimately rubbing his head against Long Chen. Long Chen lightly rubbed his head and laughed. How could that be possible? I'm just at the peak of Xi'anshan right now. But Long Chen had advanced two levels since fighting Len Yuan. His spiritual Yuan was much more robust, and his body had been greatly strengthened. His combat power had definitely increased immensely. He had an urge to find some true experts to fight. In fact, he even formed the slightest urge to go find Len Yuan to have a fight, so that they could see just who was stronger in the Xi'anshan realm. But then thinking about how Len Yuan had her spirit blood and could summon that terrifying figure, he became a bit less confident. Then thinking of her practically perfect face, he was speechless. That beautiful, crazy woman said that she would kill him the next time they met. If he wasn't strong enough, he would be cut down. He checked the primal chaos space. When he saw that the huge block of phoenix blood black gold had shrunk a great deal, he jumped in fright. He also saw that blood drinker was still stuck in the ore, motionless, but the runes on it had begun to automatically circulate. A terrifying aura was rising. Although it wasn't moving, the space around it was twisting. Even from a distance, it was possible to sense a great pressure. What a terrifying aura. Just this aura is enough to make others piss themselves. Good, good. When the time comes. Just how badass will it be to roam around the land with this saber on my shoulder? Seeing Bloodrinker's amazing power, Long Chen was incomparably excited. Once Bloodrinker awakened, it would definitely be unimaginably powerful. Taking a deep breath, he suppressed his excitement. With supreme willpower, he pulled his divine sense out of the primal chaos space. He had almost gotten completely engrossed with just staring at Bloodrinker. Right now, Bloodrinker was at a critical juncture. Long Chen swore that he definitely wouldn't disturb it until it awoke on its own. Wild, little snow, did you encounter any powerful fellows outside? I want to test my new power on some powerful magical beasts, said Long Chen. His hands were itching for a fight. Little snow immediately roared, saying that he knew a place that should have a powerful existence. Long Chen and Wild were delighted, and they immediately set off, with little snow leading the way. On the way. Long Chen examined Wild's body and found that almost all his cells had awoken. There were less than 3% still slumbering. He was delighted to see that. Once all of his cells revitalized, Wild's power would lead to an even more terrifying level. In fact, he might even be able to fight using the barbarian blood bronze body for an extended period. 
thinking of that, Long Chen felt some apprehensiveness. Wild's power was truly too terrifying. That power practically couldn't be described with words. It wasn't based on magical arts, nor was it wasn't based on a cultivation base. It was just brute force. But that brute force was so powerful that it was chilling. However, Long Chen also thought of another problem. His power might increase, but once all his cells were fully activated, it meant that all his cells would need food. Thinking of that, his scalp turned numb. They were still advancing when a furious roar suddenly shook the sky. Everything within thousands of miles was trembling. Long Chen hastily raised his head in horror. Little Snow, you're trying to get me killed. Chapter 847 8th Rank Magical Beast Earth Dragon Translator Born to be Long Chen saw a distant mountain. His heart pounded. That was a huge, three-mile-long earth dragon. This so-called earth dragon was actually just a large lizard. It had two horns on its head, making it appear sinister and terrifying. It also had a pair of wings, but it wasn't able to fly. It was covered in golden scales from top to bottom, and currently lying at the peak of a mountain. Seeing Long Chen and the others arrive, it let out a thunderous roar. That's clearly an eighth-rank magical beast. Long Chen gulped. Little Snow let out a quiet growl. Long Chen was speechless. Even if I've advanced, I'm not a match for an eighth-rank magical beast. Are you joking? Little Snow actually thought that he could handle an eighth-rank magical beast now that he had advanced. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Little Snow really had overestimated him. It wasn't as if he had advanced to see expansion. How could he dare to challenge an eighth-rank magical beast? That was equivalent to a human foundation forging expert. Furthermore, seeing its immense territory, it was obvious that it was the ruler of this place. No other magical beasts dared to provoke it. Most importantly, anything in this world that was remotely related to a dragon wasn't something you should provoke. This earth dragon was a fire attribute magical beast, and the earth dragon golden blaze, first on the beast flame rankings, came from it. In the outside world, the earth dragons no longer possessed very pure bloodlines, and with such impure bloodlines, their limit was the sixth rank. But this one was a truly powerful existence that had reached the 8th rank. Brother Long, let's try it. Its flesh will definitely be. Wild stomach grumbled. He gulped down his saliva, a hopeful light in his eyes. Although I feel like it's very foolish, I still want to try it. Ah, I really am becoming more and more stupid. Sighed Long Chen. The earth dragon had something that he needed. That was its needon. Just the beast flame seed extracted from a 6th rank earth dragon would be ranked first on the beast flame rankings. So it was obvious just how much energy had to be in this earth dragon's needon. Within Long Chen's body, Huo Long was starting to become agitated. Even at this distance, it was able to sense the earth dragon's flame energy. It was urging Long Chen to summon his courage. Long Chen put away Little Snow immediately to avoid him being one-shotted. He didn't have the slightest assurance in fighting against an 8th rank magical beast. But there was one thing that gave him confidence. If they really were unable to defeat Chiringit, he could always bring out the dragon scale. Any magical beast with comparatively greater intelligence would be affected by the dragon might. Especially this kind of magical beast that was related to dragons. Wild. This fellow is extremely powerful. The chances of us winning are very low. The plan is for me to attack first. While you preserve your power. When the time comes, I'll send you a message. Then you'll immediately activate your barbarian blood bronze body and hit it with your strongest attack. Whether or not we can win is up to you. Understood. Said Long Chen Novaloon.com Wild nervously nodded. Long Chen knew that if Wild even understood 50% of his meaning, it would be not bad. He just told him to not move and wait for him to create an opportunity. Once he was sure Wild understood and was just about to move out. The eastern wasteland bell suddenly rang out in Long Chen's head. Are you really going to attack it? Your chances of winning aren't high. In fact, you'll likely end up being killed. You're looking down on an 8th rank magical beast's power. I really can't understand you. You don't understand what Len Yuian is thinking. But now I find I also can't understand what you're thinking. If you're so unlucky all the time, why don't you be more well behaved? He, with bad luck, the danger factor is much higher. So the chance of succeeding is lower. That is correct. But you don't know how I passed the last few years. Everything I have, I gained through risking my life. If I didn't dare to do something because of danger, I wouldn't have been able to obtain more opportunities. And I would have been surpassed by others. My experience over these years tells me that it is the people who fear death the most that have the earliest and most miserable deaths. Furthermore, 
My experience also tells me that the greater the danger, the greater the profit. I don't know if this theory of mine suits others, but I feel like it works for me, said Long Chen. This was his precious experience that he had gained through risking his life over and over. The eastern wasteland bell descended into silence. Everything about Long Chen was so strange, making it so he couldn't understand him. If Long Chen was truly its heir, then the world's karmic luck should have gathered all over him. But then how was he so unlucky? Long Chen had just moved when a row rang out. This time, it wasn't just a warning. It also contained a trace of anger. The fact that Long Chen was encroaching upon its territory had angered the Earth Dragon. The Earth Dragon was a king amongst magical beasts, and as a flame attribute beast, it was easily angered. It had been many years since any magical beast had tried approaching it. The surrounding magical beasts were just its prey. Long Chen ignored its warning and continued forward. The Earth Dragon's territory was huge. It was several thousand miles, and on this land, there wasn't a single blade of grass growing. It was just barren rock. When Long Chen had traveled hundreds of miles into its territory, the Earth Dragon finally couldn't endure any longer. It didn't move, but it opened its mouth. Golden flames rushed toward Long Chen. Long Chen didn't even have a chance to react before they instantly devoured him. The golden flames melted the rocks around him. A burnt smell filled the twisting air. Damn, this is thousands of times stronger than the Earth Dragon Golden Blaze that Hua Wufang controlled, exclaimed Long Chen. Just this one spurt of breath is enough to kill any number of rank 2 celestials struck by it. If I could subdue it, then I would be able to roam around the immemorial path unchallenged. Regretfully, there's no way to subdue it with brute force, and even if I could capture it, there's no hope of successfully placing a slave mark on it with my current spiritual strength. The only chance there would be any hope of subduing it was if he used the dragon scale's might, but he definitely couldn't do that again. If he exhausted too much of the essence blood in the dragon scale, he wouldn't be able to cultivate the dragon blood body tempering art. If that happened, he wouldn't even have a place to cry. Furthermore, even if the earth dragon couldn't resist the dragon might, couldn't it run? He wouldn't be able to stop it, and then he would have lost everything. Long Chen was surrounded by blue flames. Those raging golden flames were unable to do anything to him. In fact, they were absorbed by the blue flames. His arm shook as Huo Long almost charged out of its own accord. Long Chen hastily suppressed it. Now wasn't the time to release it. Taking advantage of when it was breathing fire, Long Chen closed the distance. With the earth flame protecting him, he didn't fear any of this fire. When Long Chen was just a few dozen miles away, the earth dragon suddenly moved. It stood up and revealed its mountain-sized wings, rushing at Long Chen. Although it wasn't able to fly, its speed was incredible. A huge claw came whistling toward him. Split the heavens, with the broadsword. Split the heavens was much stronger now. Long Chen's sword key slashed onto its claw. Long Chen felt like his sword key had slashed into an immovable mountain. A huge backlash sent him flying. He tumbled back, only crawling up dozens of miles away. When he crawled up, he suddenly realized that his attack hadn't even managed to slow the earth dragon down. It was still charging at him. One of its huge wings smashed down on him. That wing had bone thorns growing on it that whistled through the air. Long Chen's scalp turned numb. It was no wonder the eastern wasteland bell had said he was courting death. An eighth rank magical beast's power wasn't something he could imagine. Divine ring. Four star battle armor. With a furious roar, Long Chen explosively released all his power. A huge ray of sword key soared into the sky. Split the heavens too. Boom. Long Chen's arms both broke. He vomited blood as he once more flew back. On the way. A mountain he crashed into crumbled to bits. Fuck. How is it so powerful? Although Long Chen had thought that he had already overestimated an 8th rank magical beast's power before fighting, he realized he had actually still underestimated it. He had advanced to the 12th vestige of Xi'anshan, but he was still unable to receive even a single attack from the Earth Dragon with his strongest move. Suddenly, it flapped its wings, releasing a powerful gust that sent him flying. It opened its mouth and a sea of raging flames spurted toward him. This was not the same breath as last time. Within this sea of flames were countless flame runes. The ground instantly melted. In front of this terrifying heat, the liquefied ground began to vaporize. This was Long Chen's first time seeing such a terrifying beast flame. Fortunately, the earth flame restricted the beast flame. No matter how the flames tried to attack him, Huo Long absorbed them easily. Those flame runes were especially nourishing for it. Now it's troublesome. I can't get close to it, let alone lock it down. 
none of my strategies will work anymore. But while it's breathing fire, there should be an opportunity. Long Chen suddenly took out a giant pill with the same size as a baby's fist. It was pitch black and had nine pill rings on it. It was the most difficult medicinal pill he had ever refined. In truth, this was a poison pill he had refined back when he had refined the sea merging pill. It was something that contained all the poison of the hidden ground gold spider king. Back then, he had felt that it might be able to help in a crisis. Now he brought it out. Wrapping it with the earth flame's power, he sent it flying into the earth dragon's mouth. To be clear, the dragon here does not refer to a real dragon. It is the same as when Huo Long and Lai Long fly out. They aren't true dragons. You should just treat that as a descriptor of shape. Chapter 848 The Earth Dragon's Power Translator Born to be because the earth dragon was currently breathing fire, it didn't realize that Long Chen's gift had already reached it. Its attack lasted for three breaths, and the entire world around them had been incinerated. Steam streamed out of the vaporized ground. Time to take your medicine, just like a human. After breathing out, the earth dragon took a deep breath in. As a result, that black medicinal pill was directly swallowed. In comparison to the earth dragon's mouth, the giant pill was like a speck of dust. But as soon as the giant pill entered its throat, it transformed into black liquid that rapidly spread throughout its flesh. The earth dragon immediately sensed something was off. It opened its mouth, just about to spit out the black medicinal liquid. Split the heavens too. Just at this moment, Long Chen's full strength attack viciously slashed onto its head. The earth dragon was struck with its defense down, and it smashed into the ground. After that attack, Long Chen was finally horrified. That was his full strength attack, but it only managed to break a portion of its scales around the slash. It was unable to cause any fatal damage. In fact, it wasn't even able to cause a flesh wound. That kind of defense was too terrifying. However, he had achieved his goal with this attack. As long as the poison circulated throughout the earth dragon's body, he trusted that even if the poison couldn't kill it, it would greatly reduce its battle prowess. That was the hidden ground gold spider king's poison. It was extremely potent, to the point that the spider king's poison sack had had three layers of protection around it. Once its poison was released, even the spider king would be poisoned to death. Thus, it could be seen just how strong that poison was. After releasing this attack, Long Chen immediately flew into the air. He didn't need to do anything now. He just needed to wait for the poison to spread. The earth dragon shook its head repeatedly, roaring furiously. It was breathing fire, trying to expel the poison. Regretfully, its flame energy came from its needon, not its stomach. It was unable to stop the poison from spreading. Seeing this scene, Long Chen was relieved. Like this, even though he had lost a trump card, he would at least not have to use the dragon scale. Even if he couldn't kill it, he would be able to leave safely. What? Up in the air, Long Chen suddenly saw another huge figure at the edge of his sight. He dropped from the sky and almost called out to Wild to run. That was because he saw that at the Earth Dragon's original location, another Earth Dragon was lying on the ground. It was slightly smaller than the one he was fighting against, but still enormous. Don't worry about that one. It's dead, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Dead? Long Chen sighed with relief. His cold sweat had drenched his back. If he had to face two earth dragons, then there wasn't the slightest chance of winning. From up in the sky, he had also gotten a better view. He saw that there was also a cave where the earth dragon had been. It was unknown what was inside. Little fellow, you really are sinister enough. That poison pill of yours won't be able to kill the earth dragon, but it will weaken its power by around 70%, said the eastern wasteland bell. It hadn't expected Long Chen would have such a method. Sinister enough? He... I'll take that as praise. And 70%? He, that's even more effective than I had expected, said Long Chen. Delighted. The earth dragon suddenly roared. The poison was spreading throughout its body, and it couldn't stop it. In its fury, it opened its mouth, and a golden light shot toward Long Chen. Careful, shouted the eastern wasteland bell. Long Chen jumped in terror, not expecting the earth dragon to have such a terrifying attack. That wasn't its fire breath, but a kind of divine ability. The instant Long Chen sensed that feeling of crisis, he instinctively used the lightning body blink to dodge to the side. The ray of golden light just narrowly missed his body, but although it didn't strike him head on, just the shock waves from it made him feel like a hammer had smashed into his body. His clothes were blown apart, and he wildly vomited blood. His body almost collapsed. Long Chen was horrified. He hastily dodged and put on a new set of robes. He flashed through the air, 
not letting the Earth Dragon land a second shot against him. That is one of the Earth Dragon's core abilities. Even a Foundation Forging Cultivator would be killed if they were struck, explained the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen felt a burst of terror. That attack had been too powerful, and there hadn't even been any sign of it coming. Not good. That kind of attack will exhaust its core energy. That's what Huo Long needs, said Long Chen. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was speechless. Long Chen kept saying that Len Yuian was crazy, but wasn't he even crazier? The best time to kill the Earth Dragon was the moment it had exhausted all its core energy. But Long Chen actually cared about the energy in its Nidan. He was the true madman. Long Chen continued to weave through the air, not letting the Earth Dragon lock onto him and release that attack again. That would save its core energy. Eventually, he got closer to the Earth Dragon, and it suddenly slammed one of its wings at him. Long Chen was delighted to see that its speed and power had clearly dropped. That should be the effect of the poison. He pushed the lightning body blink to its peak, deftly dodging its wings, claws, tail, and breath. Its body was huge, and with its power and speed drastically reduced, it wasn't nimble. It was unable to threaten Long Chen. Long Chen was like a fly buzzing around it. No matter how it attacked, it was unable to strike him. It roared in fury. Boom. Because of its fury, the earth dragon smashed both its wings down. As a result, dust blew into the air, and it tottered a few steps. A good chance. Long Chen had been waiting for a long while now. His broadsword slashed down on its wing at precisely the moment it had lost balance. The earth dragon was too powerful, and with its defense, his saber didn't cause any damage to the wing, but the huge force made it lose its balance even more. It tumbled, rolling on the ground. When it rose from the ground, it was a bit dizzy. One reason was due to the tumbling, while the other was due to the poison. Its reflexes were slowed a great deal. Raging Flame Prison Countless flame runes rapidly formed a prison around the earth dragon. In its muddled state, it was easily caught. Seeing that, Long Chen was delighted. After this much planning, he had finally created an opportunity. It had to be known that with his current power, trying to trap an 8th rank magical beast like the earth dragon was practically impossible. While the magical art was forming, he needed the earth dragon to not move. Otherwise, if it struggled just as it was forming, in its weakest state, the flame prison would be brittle and easily broken by this powerful magical beast. So in order to use the magical art, he had to first keep the earth dragon still for a moment. Originally, he had thought if he landed split the heavens on its head, there would have been a good chance of making it dizzy for half a breath while he used the raging flame prison. But the earth dragon's power had far exceeded his expectations. It was a good thing that he had the poison pill to weaken it, allowing him to grasp this opportunity. The flame prison had just appeared when chanting filled the air. Boundless flame energy surged into the flame prison. The earth dragon crazily struggled while Long Chen circulated the raging flame prison with his full power. However, the earth dragon was too large and powerful. It was like a bird cage made out of threads of gold was trapping a rooster. The flame prison seemed flimsy in front of the earth dragon, and it was constantly rocking. It was even a bit comical, but Long Chen didn't feel like it was comical in the slightest. His heart had risen into his throat. It really looked like the flame prison would break at any moment. Wild. Quickly hit its head. Shouted Long Chen. With the Nirvana scripture. He was pouring his energy into the flame prison. He could only just barely keep it contained. Wild. Who had long since been prepared. Hastily rushed out. His legs stamped on the ground. And he shot into the air. His figure suddenly grew explosively. Turning him into a giant 30 meters tall. Although it was his second time seeing it. Long Chen was still awed. Wild smashed his bone club down on the earth dragon's head. Boom. Heaven and earth trembled. Blood splashed and the earth dragon crashed through the flame prison, flying into the distance. What? It's still not dead. Long Chen was shocked. Half of its head was now caved in because of Wild's attack. But then he suddenly realized that the earth dragon didn't have a crystal core. All of its energy was located in its Nidan. Huo Long, it's up to you now. Long Chen waved his hand. The flame tattoo on his arm lit up, and a blue ray of light shot toward the heavily injured earth dragon. Chapter 849 The Greatest Treasure Translator Born to be Huo Long's 3000 meter body charged toward the earth dragon. Its size was already very large, but compared to the earth dragon, Huo Long seemed like a malnourished child attacking a large man. At the same time as Huo Long flew out, Lai Long followed. That wasn't Long Chen's order, it had flown out on its own to help Huo Long. Huo Long and Lai Long immediately coiled around the earth dragon's neck. Their runes circulated, 
tightly clenching, attempting to strangle it. Long Chen knew that even the double dragon destruction wouldn't necessarily be able to cause any effective injuries to the earth dragon. So he had them fight while preserving their energy in search of an opportunity. Only now did Long Chen realize how foolish he had been to challenge an 8th rank magical beast, and one that was a ruler amongst 8th rank magical beasts at that. They fundamentally weren't existences he could challenge. The earth dragon roared furiously, trying to shake them off. Its throat was the thinnest part of its body, and it was the only place the two of them were able to wrap around and threaten it with. The earth dragon's rune suddenly lit up, and a terrifying pressure descended. Seeing that the earth dragon was just about to throw off its restrictions, Long Chen jumped in fright. Wild, hit it again. Long Chen shouted upon seeing that Wild was still in his giant form. As soon as Wild had struck the first time, he had felt like his power was retreating. He had just been about to put away the barbarian blood bronze body. But hearing Long Chen's order, he hastily smashed his club down. Boom. The sound of bones breaking rang out. The earth dragon's head was now completely deformed, but it still didn't die. Suddenly, rumbling came from the earth dragon's body. Long Chen's expression immediately changed. It was about to rely on the energy within its need and to heal Novaloon.com Long Chen's face turned green. Eighth rank magical beasts were truly too terrifying. If he allowed it to heal, then in its berserk state, it was unknown whether even the dragon scale could stop it. The earth dragon had been blown into the distance by Wild's attack. Suddenly, Long Chen's eyes brightened. He sent a message to Lai Long and Huo Long. Split the heavens too. Huo Long immediately let go of the earth dragon and dodged. Only Lai Long continued to tightly hold onto it. At this moment, Long Chen's attack landed. How vicious, muttered the eastern wasteland bell. The earth dragon had yet to stabilize after being struck by wild. Now it was once more sent flying. As its stomach flipped into the air, it immediately struggled. As it struggled, near its tail, a hole was revealed. That, was the earth dragon's anus. Because it had used too much force, it had opened. At that moment, a blue fire dragon shrank down and squeezed through. The earth dragon let out a miserable roar that shook the nine heavens. It immediately began to struggle on a new level. It crazily rolled back and forth, destroying the land. Its wings were like blades while its tail was like a whip, destroying everything around it. Long Chen was horrified. He hastily rushed over to Wild's side. Seeing his weakened state, he pulled him away. Long Chen had only just left when Lai Long finally couldn't hold on any longer and was shattered. It transformed into lightning runes that returned to his arm. It clearly wasn't able to hold back the earth dragon once it began this crazy struggle. Long Chen flew into the distance. Wild quickly took out a magical beast's corpse and began to devour it. He felt like he was about to starve to death. On the other hand, Long Chen was looking at the crazily struggling earth dragon in shock. This earth dragon was truly too terrifying. It had been consecutively heavily injured by Wild but still possessed such power. Suddenly. A muffled bang came from within the earth dragon's body. It stiffened and then fell motionlessly to the ground. Long Chen finally sighed with relief. Only now did he sense that his back was covered in sweat. Feeling the wind blowing on him, he felt like he was about to collapse. Huo Long had managed to succeed. From an extremely crafty angle, it had broken through the earth dragon's practically flawless defense. It had managed to charge into its body and directly devour its Needon. With its Needon devoured, it was like a human whose heart had been crushed. It immediately lost the source of its power. Crap. Crap. I need food. Wild suddenly roared and charged towards the earth dragon. His eyes red. His hunger made him feel crazy. He grabbed its claw. But no matter how he pulled, the scales wouldn't come off. In his urgency, Wild directly opened his mouth and bit down on the scales. Long Chen felt goosebumps. Those scales that even treasure items could barely harm were being devoured by Wild. But the scales were also too hard, and Wild's own mouth was bleeding. It seemed he didn't notice that as he continued crunching down on the scales along with some of the earth dragon's skin. Just like that, Wild knelt down and viciously bit into the exposed skin. That incomparably tough skin was also torn off. And then seeing blood leaking out, Wild opened his mouth and began to drink it. Fuck, you can't drink that. It's poisonous. Long Chen hastily shot forward, about to pull him away. But Wild was too fast. He had already eaten his way into the earth dragon's body. Half of his body was already inside its flesh. And Long Chen only managed to grab his leg. It seemed Wild had lost all sense of reason. No matter how Long Chen pulled. He just continued to bite the flesh inside. Refusing to leave. Long Chen found that funny as well as startling. 
but the hidden ground gold spider king's poison was still present. Wild would also be poisoned like this. Let him be. The barbarian race only eats flesh. Anything that has meat and blood can be eaten. They aren't affected by poison, said the eastern wasteland bell. What? Long Chen was startled. They were unaffected by poison? What kind of constitution was that terrifying? Just as he was dumbfounded, Wild had already dug his way into the earth dragon's claw, leaving behind only a bloody hole to show where he had entered. The sound of him eating could be heard from inside. Perhaps what you said was right. Your opportunities all lie within danger, sighed the eastern wasteland bell. That's just what I've learned through my experience. The heavens are often unfair to me, and sometimes it seems that they even want to kill me. I need to get stronger, so I have to risk my life to gain more chips. Fuck. Just talking about that is infuriating. The heavens birth all things. I never asked to be born, but since they birthed me, they can't always be trying to take my life. Fuck. Once I'm stronger, I'll definitely overturn these idiot heavens. Long Chen clenched his teeth. This thinking of yours is extremely heretical, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. TCH, if you had my experiences, you'd be even more heretical. Long Chen shook his head. Only people who personally had to go through what had happened to him would understand his fury. Suddenly, a blue light flew out from around the Earth Dragon's tail. It transformed into a huge dragon that flew through the air. Long Chen was delighted. Huo Long's power had increased by quite a bit. Its size had increased by 50% now. That was an immense benefit. Huo Long excitedly flew through the air, expressing its pride and power. Long Chen smiled, allowing it to be excited for a bit. Huo Long and Lai Long were like children in terms of intelligence. Long Chen jumped onto the earth dragon's head. He slashed flying rainbow at a seam between bones, making sure it was completely dead so that it wouldn't suffer any longer. The earth dragon's life energy was shockingly powerful. Its head had been smashed, and its needon had been devoured, but it had still been alive. But that kind of living was just torment. This blow of Long Chen's was his mercy. After resolving that, he almost habitually put the corpse away when he remembered Wild was still in its claw. He swept out his divine sense and was speechless. In just a short time, Wild had consumed all the flesh in the claw. That was an eighth rank magical beast's flesh. The amount of energy in it was terrifying to imagine. But Wild had already eaten several tons without being satisfied. However, several tons of flesh was nothing when it came to the Earth Dragon's huge body. Go check the other Earth Dragon. That's where your greatest harvest is. According to your combat power, you should have definitely lost this battle and died. But you won. So your harvest is big enough to make others red-eyed. Sighed the Eastern Wasteland Bell. The Eastern Wasteland Bell wasn't aware Long Chen had the Dragon Scale and could have escaped at any time, as the Dragon Scale had constantly been in the primal chaos space. Long Chen's eyes brightened. He rushed over to the peak of the mountain. He left this Earth Dragon for Wild to eat. This second Earth Dragon was two and a half miles long. That was a bit smaller than the first one, but still enormous. It was lying on the ground with no signs of life. It's dead. Long Chen found this strange. There weren't any injuries on its body or any signs of battle. It was like it was sleeping. Huo Long. In any case, it was a treasure. Once Huo Long devoured its needon, its power would once more increase. He called out to it, but Huo Long didn't come out. It said that this earth dragon didn't have any energy in its needon. What? Senior. Didn't you say that this was the greatest harvest? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen felt the eastern wasteland bell in his spiritual space shake slightly. A ray of light suddenly appeared in the outside world and cut across the earth dragon's abdomen. Its powerful defenses that Long Chen hadn't been able to pierce were like paper in front of that light. A large gash appeared in the earth dragon's abdomen. Suddenly, four huge eggs rolled out. Long Chen's eyes almost popped out. Earth Dragon Eggs. Chapter 850 Blood Incinerating Lion Flame Translator. Born to be yes. These are the Earth Dragon's eggs. Your luck was actually excellent this time. This was a pair of Earth Dragons. And the Mother Dragon died. Fortunately, the eggs inside it have already fully formed. Even though the Mother Dragon died, the eggs still incubated. Said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen was delighted. This Earth Dragon was not the outside world's Earth Dragon where they possessed impure bloodlines and could only grow to the 6th rank. But since these were the eggs of 8th rank Earth Dragons, they would also mature into 8th rank Earth Dragons. Most importantly, with a beast tamer like Menki, they would get the best growing conditions to bring out all their potential. Haha, <laughs> gold. I've really struck gold this time. Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Menki could have won and Tang Wan'er could have won. That was a must. 
As for that little fellow Guo Ran, this was definitely a divine item for showing off. If he didn't give one to him, he would call his boss petty. After all, he was the general of the Dragonblood Legion. Even if it was just for appearances, he had to have a powerful mount. As for the last one, Long Chen suddenly thought of Little Snow. Within the spiritual space, Little Snow let out a quiet growl. It actually understood Long Chen's intention and declined. Long Chen had been thinking of leaving one egg for Little Snow to eat. There might be a 1 in 10,000 chance it could help him break through. Long Chen wouldn't hesitate to pay any price for Little Snow to continue advancing. Fine, then I'll put them away first and we can talk about it later. Long Chen put away the four eggs as well as the corpse. Just as Long Chen was feeling completely satisfied, Huo Long suddenly sent him a message. There's something you need in the cave. Long Chen was startled. Although Huo Long's intelligence wasn't high, it was still able to communicate simple thoughts to him. Long Chen carefully examined his surroundings. The top of this mountain was flat and very large. There was an open space dozens of miles wide. In the center, there was a shaft that led straight down. That shaft was a hundred meters wide. Originally, Long Chen had thought it would be the Earth Dragon's lair. But now that he thought about it, that didn't make sense. With the Earth Dragon's huge body, there was no way it would fit. With Huo Long's reminder, Long Chen became curious. His wings flapped and he slowly flew down. The shaft went straight down. Everything was extremely stable. Even after the terrifying battle outside, this mountain still hadn't collapsed. Long Chen descended several miles. He hadn't just reached the heart of the mountain, but he had even descended underground. However, he still wasn't at the end. As he fell down, he realized what it was that Huo Long wanted. As he went deeper, a fierce heat came closer. Suddenly, a wave of heat erupted from underground. This shaft was like a chimney, allowing the fire to explode from below. Long Chen hastily circulated his flame energy, protecting him. At the same time, he stabbed his broadsword into the wall, using it to stay stable. No wonder the two earth dragons would make this place their home. As flame attribute magical beasts, they were absorbing this flame energy to cultivate. Once he was over 10 miles underground, the space suddenly widened. Looking around, Long Chen was dumbfounded. This place was actually a huge lava pool hundreds of miles wide. With each wild surge of the lava, powerful heat waves that could roast an ordinary celestial would blast out. Suddenly, the lava erupted. A wave of it crashed toward Long Chen. He snorted and slashed his broadsword, breaking the wave. After he broke the wave, a roar rang out. A huge figure flew out of the lava. It was a lion formed out of flames. When it appeared, the heat coming off of it immediately turned this underground world indistinct. That heat caused space to twist chaotically. An earth flame. Long Chen let out a startled cry. In this world, only earth flames possessed such terrifying flame energy. It was practically powerful enough to destroy heaven and earth, incinerating anything that it touched. Furthermore, this earth flame was extremely condensed. To an even greater degree than Huo Long, the flame lion let out a furious roar and charged at Long Chen. At the same time, a roar came from Huo Long. Its huge body shot over and enveloped the flame lion. What startled Long Chen was that Huo Long was immediately broken apart with a single blow from the flame lion. How powerful. Huo Long isn't its match. However, an earth flame did not possess a body of flesh and blood. When its body was broken, it transformed into runes that once more condensed into a flame dragon, continuing to attack the flame lion. But Huo Long's huge body was as weak as paper in front of the flame lion. It wasn't able to receive a single blow. Senior, can you help me suppress that earth flame? Asked Long Chen to the Eastern Wasteland Bell. This Earth Flame Beast was too powerful. If this continued, it wouldn't be long before Huo Long couldn't hold on any longer. And without Huo Long's protection, Long Chen wouldn't stand a chance against this Flame Lion. That is simple for me, but I must warn you if I do that, it will cancel out the karma of me taking your reward from the trial. Other than that, for freeing me, I can help you out once in a life and death situation. But once I do, the karma between us will be over. I can't randomly help you. We are on completely different levels. You understand, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen smiled. Don't worry senior, I'm not such a greedy person, nor will I depend on others. The main problem was just that the flame lion was too powerful. Huo Long was unable to even trap it. Otherwise, he wouldn't even need to ask the Eastern Wasteland Bell. As long as Huo Long could have trapped it for a single moment. He could have pulled it into the primal chaos space. Long Chen trusted that the primal chaos bead was definitely capable of subduing it. 
There are many kinds of earth flames. Your earth flame is called the blue underground flame. In truth, its ranking isn't very high. It isn't even in the top hundred. The blood incinerating lion flame in front of you is much better. It's ranked 96th. My advice would be for you to subdue the blood incinerating lion flame and then feed your current earth flame to it. That would get you the most benefits. Long Chen shook his head. Just like Little Snow, I don't think of Huo Long as a helper or a weapon, but a companion who fights alongside me. As long as it doesn't abandon me, I won't abandon it. You can consider that foolish, but I'm used to that foolishness. I can't change this fault of mine, so please go ahead. Long Chen understood what the Eastern Wasteland Bell was saying. The blue underground flame's innate ability wasn't very high. There was no value in raising it, so it was better to switch it with the blood incinerating lion flame. However, what Long Chen was after wasn't to increase the profit as much as possible. He couldn't toss aside companionship for profit. Although he knew the Eastern Wasteland Bell's suggestion was the right one, because he was Long Chen, he couldn't do it. Seeing that, the Eastern Wasteland Bell didn't get angry. In fact, although he found such a thing very foolish, he also found it likable. It was its first time seeing such a person. A broken bell appeared in the air. Although the bell was incomplete, a majestic aura filled the air. A will that could subdue the world appeared. A single speck of rust fell from the eastern wasteland bell surface, revealing an immortal character. In that instant, Long Chen was shocked to find that the world seemed to suddenly become still. Time and space were frozen. Boom. A golden wave flew out of the bell, slamming into the flame lion. The flame lion instantly exploded, becoming runes. Those runes were then rapidly condensed into a ball by some inexplicable energy. Huo Long directly swallowed that ball and then returned to Long Chen's arm. The eastern wasteland bell disappeared. Huo Long had also disappeared. Everything had disappeared. The world returned to normal, as if everything that had just happened had just been an illusion. Long Chen shook his head, only now recovering from his shock. He finally understood just how terrifying the eastern wasteland bell was. It was in a broken, half-dead state, but it was able to subdue this terrifying earth flame. Seemingly without expending any effort, he gulped. This was a legendary divine item. It was truly powerful. If it was at its peak, wouldn't it be powerful enough to destroy the entire world? But such a terrifying existence had ended up in such a miserable situation. Just what secrets were hiding behind this? Long Chen couldn't ask, as even if he did, the Eastern Wasteland Bell wouldn't answer. It has devoured the blood incinerating lion flame and descended into slumber. It will take a while for it to absorb all that energy. After all, the blood incinerating lion flame is many times stronger than it. On the other hand, if you had allowed the blood incinerating lion flame to devour it, not only would its battle power have rapidly increased, but it would have been able to fight very quickly. Ah, old people really talk a lot. The eastern wasteland bell suddenly mocked itself. Many thanks for your good intentions, senior. I'm just too stupid and obstinate. I can only live like this for the rest of my life, laughed Long Chen, comforting the eastern wasteland bell. Although he hadn't listened to it, he still accepted its intentions. Fine, although I find this character of yours a bit inconceivable, it seems this kind of a character makes it easier for you to win other people's trust. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Let's go. This blood incinerating lion flame was your greatest gain here, and once Huo Long awakens, you'll get a pleasant surprise said the eastern wasteland bell. Long Chen nodded. He truly had gained a great deal. In fact, he even felt like his own luck wasn't that bad. The earth flame had released a wave of flame energy every now and then from here. His guess was that the mother dragon had been too weak while incubating eggs, but she had forcibly absorbed the flame energy to cultivate. After all, that flame energy only came every now and then, so it was very precious to the earth dragons. But in her weakened state, the encroachment of the flame energy must have disrupted her aura, shattering her needle and causing her to die. Once he returned it up the mountain, Long Chen suddenly saw a group of people around the earth dragon's corpse. He frowned and quickly rushed over. Chapter 851 The Origin of the Ancient Races Translator Born to be Stop This magical beast's corpse was found by our wind leopard race. If you're smart, you'll immediately scram, shouted someone upon seeing Long Chen come. These people were extremely tall, while their ears and noses were similar to a leopard. Long Chen actually did know about the wind leopard race. They had been at the same entrance as him. Oh young Kiyuayu had introduced them to him. Laughable. You found it. So it's yours? Then I say that the immemorial path was found by me. So according to you, 
The immemorial path is mine, sneered Long Chen. Just looking at their arrogant manner irritated him. These ancient races felt themselves to be above the human race. In truth, Long Chen also looked down on them, because they were actually the descendants of humans mating with beasts. They possessed the human race's blood, but they also possessed the blood of ancient beasts. The strength of their physical bodies was many times stronger than an ordinary human cultivator due to that influence, giving them a large advantage. There were some ancient beasts who possessed pure bloodlines. They were not called magical beasts. Instead, they called themselves Zuan beasts, and they were able to transform into a full human form. In ancient times, there had been a period of peace when human experts had intermarried with Zuan beasts, birthing children that had inherited a portion of both their strengths. Later, for some unknown reason, there had been an immense battle between the Zuan beasts and the human cultivators. Their relationships had also fractured, that caused an awkward consequence. The descendants of the two sides had ended up being abandoned. Neither side accepted them. Then for some other unknown reason, the Zuan beasts had declined. Many of them had disappeared. As for the human race, they had also been greatly weakened. The ones possessing both their bloodlines ended up becoming the greatest force back then. They had called themselves the ancient races. It was said that they had led the martial heaven continent for quite a long time. Oh young Kiyu guessed that the only reason that had occurred was because an immense war had been fought between the humans and the Zuan beasts. Their inheritances were severed as their elites fell. As for the ancient races, they had become the greatest benefactors. Later, the human race had finally erupted after being suppressed by the ancient races for too long. An intense war was fought. During that prolonged war, the human race gave birth to several shocking experts, allowing them to suppress the ancient races. In the end, the ancient races had no choice but to compromise. The two sides formed an agreement, saying neither side would attack the other. As a result, the battle between the human race and the ancient races had only just ended when the human race's interior fragmented again. Back then, a portion of the human race had said that they should destroy the ancient races while they could. They wanted to pull them up by the roots and make them completely extinct. There was another portion who thought there was no need to slaughter them all. Even if they won and the ancient races were exterminated, it would cost them dearly. And after all, they still possessed a blood connection. As a result, the disharmony in the human race grew more and more. In the end, weapons had been raised. They had met on the battlefield. One side felt that the other was being excessively merciful. They were leaving behind a disaster for their descendants that would sooner or later erupt. The other side felt that their opponents were too cruel. The ancient races weren't magical beasts. Even if they couldn't be treated as humans, they couldn't be treated as beasts. After all, the ancient races' numbers had been enormous back then, and their appearance was similar to humans. They had women and children. How could they bring down the butcher's knife on them? Why not give them a chance so that there could be peace? In their fury, the experts who had proposed slaughtering them directly left the human race's army and began a slaughter of the ancient races on their own. Their numbers were too low and so they were unable to face the ancient race's army head-on. The only thing they could do was target their weaker members. Those weaker members were the ancient race's women and children. An enormous number of them were slaughtered by those human experts. They were extremely vicious, and any member of the ancient races would be slaughtered. They said that enemies were enemies, and they wouldn't give them time to grow. Their actions infuriated the ancient races and the human race. Both sides joined together to handle them. As a result, through numbers and power, those vicious human experts suffered defaturing after defaturing just as they were about to be exterminated. A heaven-shaking reversal occurred. Back then, the void had been ripped apart. A black figure had appeared in the sky and saved those people. Those people swore that they would make the foolish human race pay a price for their actions. As a result, they formed the corrupt path. As for the black figure that had saved them, it became their corrupt god. After a brief moment of peace, once the corrupt path had rested and restored their power, they began to launch attacks against the righteous path. The corrupt path had suddenly gained extremely terrifying cultivation techniques that increased their power through slaughter. Their cultivation speed was horrifyingly fast. The righteous path attacked back, but the corrupt path fought guerrilla warfare. After killing everyone in one place, they would disappear. The righteous path suddenly realized, they weren't just killing people, they were also capturing children. Without even thinking about it, they knew they were raising them to be their new experts. At that time, the righteous path had realized that the situation wasn't good. Continuing like this wasn't a solution. They had to think of a way to stop the corrupt path. 
but the corrupt path was like the wind, and their lair was hidden. Due to this, the righteous path asked the ancient races for help. The ancient races had quite a few experts that had inherited divine abilities from the zoo and beasts. They could assist the righteous path in finding the corrupt path's lair, and then they could work together to exterminate them. But what infuriated the righteous path was that the ancient races actually refused to help. Later, they realized the corrupt path was only targeting the righteous path. They didn't attack the ancient races. That enraged the righteous path mightily. When the corrupt path had slaughtered the ancient races, it was the righteous path that had saved them. But now that the corrupt path was targeting the righteous path, they actually chose to be spectators. The ancient races' conduct was infuriating. But after so much time, they had recovered a great deal of their power. The righteous path couldn't possibly wage a war against the ancient races while fighting the corrupt path. Quite a few of them wished they really had exterminated the ancient races, but they were helpless about it. The only thing that the righteous path could do was fiercely increase their own strength. The fortunate thing was that the righteous path had countless experts on their side. They established more sects and recruited more disciples, doing their best to raise them. It went without saying that the righteous path's numbers were many, many times that of the corrupt path. Now that the righteous path went all out against the corrupt path, the corrupt path immediately suffered a grave blow. Their experts were cut down in droves, and they vanished without a trace. A few millennia after they vanished, the righteous experts thought that the corrupt path had already collapsed from the grave injury they had been dealt. As a result, they had once more begun their melodramatic storyline, internal strife. Thousands of sects began to get arrogant, refusing to submit to anyone. They crazily expanded their territory, snatching resources and fighting against other powers. Therefore, just as they were fighting amongst themselves, the corrupt path suddenly invaded again. Through thousands of years of recovery, the corrupt path had reached a terrifying level of power. With the righteous path in their chaotic state, they were dealt a miserable blow by the corrupt path. But in the end, the righteous path simply had too many experts. The corrupt path had killed so many of their number, snatching all their resources, but they weren't able to get a complete victory. The righteous path had finally awakened. They gathered their supreme powers, supervising them in battle and reconciling their differences. Any powers that refused to listen would be attacked by the rest of the righteous path. Although there were still many small struggles, the righteous path had calmed down. Once the conflict grew to a certain level, powerful and mysterious existences would come out to stop them, mediating the conflict. With the precedent of the ancient races, Pill Valley also took action. Originally, Pill Valley had been a power of the righteous path, but then they gradually became independent. To get the greatest profit, they would do business with any side, righteous or corrupt. When they announced their independence, it caused huge waves. Although countless righteous experts had protested, Pill Valley had still continued with it. At the same time, another sect suddenly also declared their independence. The Huaian sect they established the Huaian auction houses under their banner. Because Pill Valley was too enormous and controlled the essential medicinal pills, the righteous path could only accept their independence despite their protests. If they had continued protesting, then Pill Valley would refuse to sell them medicinal pills. But the Huaian sect was different. On the very day they declared their independence, they were beset by countless righteous experts. A bloody battle had erupted, and the Huaian sect's core had been heavily damaged. The righteous path refused to allow a second Pill Valley to appear, but the Huaian sect was tenacious. A few decades later, they once more appeared. As a result, they were once more destroyed. Then the cycle continued, but each time they reappeared, their power would be greater than before. On the 17th time that they appeared, a truly heaven-shaking battle had been fought. Countless experts had fallen, but this time, the Huaian sect remained standing. The righteous path was finally afraid. The Huaian sect had far too much money. Each time they were destroyed, they would spend an exorbitant amount of money to invite new experts. In fact, they even hired runaways and criminals to use suicidal attacks. It could be said that the Huaian sect's foundation was built through money and lives. Later, the Huaian sect gradually spread throughout every inch of the Martial Heaven continent. Any place that had alchemy guilds also had a Huaian auction house. It was like the Huaian sect was competing with Pill Valley. In the beginning, Pill Valley had disdained the Huaian sect, but then it had developed at a shocking rate, making them speechless. When Pill Valley finally wanted to suppress the Huaian sect, they found that the Huaian sect was already everywhere. Most importantly, the Huaian sect also accepted poor people, 
and so their religious beliefs were easier for people to accept. They believed in the wealth god. They had billions of believers, because it was the Huaian sect and their wealth god that had saved them from poverty. It was because of the Huaian sect that those poor people had managed to step onto the path of cultivation. Their devotion was almost frightening. If they tried to suppress the Huaian sect with brute force, they would immediately receive the unfearing attacks from the Huaian sect's billions of disciples. Just thinking about that was intimidating. Therefore, the Huaian sect had also formed. They along with Pill Valley and the ancient races were existences beyond the righteous and corrupt paths. But although the ancient races announced that they were neutral, they felt a profound hatred for the human race, especially the corrupt path. They still remembered when they ruled this world, but now they had to stand on the same level as the inferior human race. So they would often provoke the human race, as they always tolerated it. That made their arrogance greater and greater until they stopped giving a damn about the righteous path's people. Long Chen, if you still don't scram, you'll never be able to scram in this life said one of the Wind Leopard's experts, killing intent surging out of his eyes. Chapter 852 once more running into her translator, born to be this earth dragon was killed by me. If you don't want to die, you'll hurry up and fuck off. Long Chen ignored his threat. What a joke. You can kill an 8th rank magical beast? If so, you would have long since proclaimed yourself the hegemon of the immemorial path. Since you want to die, I can only help you out. The Wind Leopard's experts refused to believe this magical beast was killed by Long Chen. That was simply impossible. They were filled with killing intent. Their movements were as fast as lightning, and they all shot at Long Chen at the same time. Their fingers had steel like claws growing out of them. Runes sparkled on them, and their sharpness was comparable to treasure items. They immediately attacked together, aware that Long Chen was powerful due to what had happened right before the immemorial path had opened. Long Chen snorted and slashed his broadsword. He found that after he had reached the 12th heaven stage, his spiritual yuan had grown by several times. With his powerful spiritual yuan, it took him no time at all to use split the heavens. He could use it like it was an ordinary saber blow. A huge ray of sword light slashed down on them. Boom. Those wind leopard experts' expressions immediately changed. It was clearly a random blow from Long Chen, but it had locked all of them down. They hastily defended. But as a result, blood filled the air. Those claws that could compare to treasure items were like rotting wood in front of Long Chen's sword. Only one person survived and fell back, vomiting blood with his arms disfigured. He was completely shocked and unwilling to believe this. He was a rank 3 celestial, and an innate one at that. There was no need to doubt his power, but he wasn't even able to receive a single blow from Long Chen. In truth, he really was powerful. If Long Chen wanted to defeat Chiring him, it would take some effort. Even if he didn't summon the battle armor, he would at least need to summon the divine ring. Regretfully, this guy had looked down on Long Chen too much. Seeing that it was just a random blow from him, he also hadn't used his full power, thinking that it was just a testing move. As a result, he lost out immensely. He was just about to summon his cry of the heavenly deos, but Long Chen didn't give him that chance. Like a phantom, Long Chen appeared right in front of him. His sword pierced directly through this guy's head. The thunder force on the broadsword directly destroyed his soul. He was killed instantly. If I didn't kill the few of you, I wouldn't have even been able to sense that I have gotten stronger. Long Chen pulled out his broadsword and sighed emotionally. As soon as he had advanced to the 12th heaven stage, Little Snow had brought him to fight an earth dragon. The earth dragon was too terrifying and had completely suppressed him. To Long Chen, it felt like he hadn't gotten any stronger at all. Now that he had killed an innate rank 3 celestial in just two moves, he finally experienced his strength. That made his confidence, which had been shaken by the earth dragon, become completely solid. Wild. Get up. Long Chen slapped the broadsword against the earth dragon's foreleg. A 10 meter space had been eaten by Wild. He was like an ant that had eaten a flat space for himself and then fallen asleep. This was also why the Wind Leopard experts had failed to move the Earth Dragon's corpse into a spatial ring despite trying so hard. The space in spatial rings was static, and it was impossible to bring in living things. As for life rings, they were comparatively precious and small. Only alchemists used such small and mostly impractical life rings. Wild was within the Earth Dragon, so they were naturally unable to bring it into a spatial ring. Even when they died, they couldn't understand why they hadn't been able to bring it in. After Long Chen made a loud racket, Wild finally woke up and ate his way out of the Earth Dragon. He didn't even know when he had fallen asleep. All your cells have been activated. 
Long Chen let out a startled cry upon seeing Wild. There seemed to be a mysterious energy around Wild that caused space to circulate around him. This happened without him even doing anything Noveloon.com furthermore. Now that all his cells were activated, they had begun automatically absorbing energy from the air for him. How do you feel? Asked Long Chen. Really good. Like I'm overflowing with energy. I also don't feel as hungry as before. Said Wild excitedly. Previously, even when Wild was stuffed with food, he was still hungry. This was one of the rare times he was actually full. Long Chen nodded. One reason for this was because Wild had just eaten. An eighth rank magical beast's flesh was full of energy. The other reason was that all his cells had awoken. Some kind of mysterious technique seemed to have been activated, and they automatically drew energy out of the air to make up for his consumption. In other words, as long as Wild didn't do anything, he wouldn't have to exhaust so much energy. He wouldn't have to be constantly asleep to reduce his exhaustion like before. Wild, you should keep this earth dragon. Now you can feel free to move around even without meat to eat. However, you are different from others and need meat to cultivate. You should stay in this forest. When you have time, go out to hunt. When you don't have time, just eat the earth dragon. With your current pace, you could eat this earth dragon for a full year. Remember to leave its skin. That can be used to equip the dragon blood warriors. I'll leave now to take a look at some other places, said Long Chen. Brother Long, you're going to go, asked Wild. Long Chen's heart warmed. Although Wild's foolishness gave Long Chen a great deal of trouble, no matter how strong Wild became, he was still that pure child he had met in the Phoenix Cry Empire. His temperament had never changed, and he still treated him as a big brother. Yes, I have to go. One reason is that I have to see if I can find more resources to equip the Dragon Blood Warriors, and another reason is to see if I can find our people. Only then will I be at ease. As for Song Mingyuan and Li Qi, I trust their decision. They should have eaten the heavenly Dao fruits that Guo Ran gave them, which should have increased their chance of surviving. If they can survive, then they'll definitely become amazing experts after experiencing this. You should just stay here, as long as you don't provoke an 8th rank magical beast. You'll be safe. I'll have Guo Ran come find you when I need you. Long Chen patted Wild's shoulder and then left in front of his unwilling gaze. Wild's constitution was too special. Long Chen had tried all the medicinal pills and secret arts he knew, but they had all been ineffective. Wild could only get energy from meat. Now that Wild cells had all been activated, he didn't know what would happen, but he could accept that things would go naturally. As for Wild's safety, Long Chen didn't bother worrying over that. Although Wild was normally foolish, he was extremely sensitive toward danger. Otherwise, there would have been no way for him to survive once Kang Ming had been killed. Furthermore, when Wild summoned the barbarian blood bronze body, Long Chen had to ask himself if he could even block a single blow. Wild had incomparable power and was impervious to poison. Long Chen was completely confident in him staying here. Long Chen went on his way. He was currently already close to the core of the 10,000 beast forest. But in the end, he decided to detour around the core region. That was because as soon as he approached the core, he encountered another 8th rank earth dragon. This region was perhaps filled with 8th rank magical beasts. With his luck, perhaps he would even run into a 9th rank magical beast. A single earth dragon had cost Long Chen one of his trump cards and had required Wild's assistance. In the end, he had even been forced to use a grand anus piercing art via Huo Long to break the earth dragon's flawless defense. If he had been lacking any of them, he would have only been able to miserably flee. Now he had no wild, no Huo Long, and no poison pill. If he encountered an 8th rank magical beast, he would have no chance. And in the worst case, if he ran into one with low intelligence like an insect magical beast, the dragon scale wouldn't be able to stop them. Then, even his life would be at risk. Bypassing the core region, Long Chen ended up with quite a few harvests. He killed quite a few 7th rank magical beasts, and their corpses were all tossed into the black soil as nutrients. Those huge trees from the spirit world continued to grow. They were already 3 miles tall, and that was their final limit. Long Chen was delighted by how much life energy these trees could contain. As long as he wasn't killed in one blow, he would be able to recover from any injuries. He wouldn't have to be afraid of a long, intense battle. Seven days later. Long Chen finally reached the end of the 10,000 beast forest. It was truly huge. The immemorial path was truly shocking. Long Chen began approaching the main path again. That main path had more trials and more opportunities. Of course, there were also more disciples there, and more danger. 
After a few hours of travel, he arrived at a barren mountain range. It was practically the opposite of the 10,000 beast forest. It was completely barren, and there was some kind of strange air here that made him feel uneasy. He was traveling through this place when he heard the sound of metal clashing. He was startled. Was the main path so exciting? As soon as he arrived, there would be a good show to watch? Long Chen hastily went over to see what looked like several righteous disciples attacking a woman. Seeing that woman, Long Chen shook. He was filled with delight. Chapter 853 Robbing Translator Born to be she had a graceful figure wrapped in violet robes that gave off a feeling of mystery. Her hair fell to her waist, and her skin was snow white. Her face was veiled, only revealing her eyes. Those eyes were like a clear pool of water, but it was impossible to see the bottom. They seemed to be able to suck in a person's soul. That kind of beauty was dangerous, but a person couldn't help being drawn in. It was like she was a combination of an immortal fairy and a devilish enchantress. Those two styles made her beauty full of contradictions, but it was impossible to free yourself once you were lost within it. In this world, only she could possess such beauty. Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen hadn't expected that Yu Ziaokian had also entered the immemorial path. Furthermore, she was in the eastern region just like him. She was surrounded by over ten experts. Her sword repeatedly flashed as she blocked all their attacks. Long Chen was surprised to see that her attackers weren't from the righteous or corrupt paths. They were a group of ancient race experts. The large canine teeth poking out of their mouths showed their identities. They were people from the Blazing Wolf race, and they were all ranked two celestials and above. There was one fellow covered in scarlet fur with a powerful aura that only an innate rank 3 celestial could possess. They were attacking Yu Ziaokian, but although their attacks were sharp, Long Chen saw that they weren't going all out. They were holding back. Girl, being fancied by me is your fortune. Not every race has the qualifications to marry into my blazing wolf race. If you continue not to recognize my kindness, don't blame me for being merciless and going all out to suppress you. At that time, don't say that I don't know how to go easy on women, sneered the rank 3 celestial. Long Chen frowned. Wasn't it said that the ancient races didn't intermarry with the human race? This idiot dared to say such a thing? But then thinking about it, Long Chen guessed this idiot didn't have such good intentions. Most likely, he had just begun drooling over Yu Ziaokian's beauty. Although she was veiled, just her eyes and body were enough to infatuate any living being. These ancient race beasts were also unable to resist. I have no enmity with you. I hope you won't make things hard on me, said Yu Ziaokian coldly. Although her voice contained fury, it still sounded melodious and refreshing. Haha, <laughs> you're finally willing to speak. Your voice is pretty nice. I've decided, you're mine, laughed the rank 3 celestial, his eyes shining. Long Chen saw that Yu Ziaokian was already at the peak of Xi'anshan. According to reason, even if she couldn't kill these people, she should have been able to get away. He looked around and suddenly realized what was going on. There were quite a few people watching in secret. Yu Ziaokian didn't dare to release her full power with them all watching him. It seemed it was time for the hero to save the beauty. Hey. All of you better stop and obediently leave behind everything valuable you have. Otherwise, today, I'll pull out your dog teeth, shouted Long Chen. Just like that, he swaggered over to them, looking down his nose at them. He's robbing us. The Blazing Wolf experts were dumbfounded. They thought they had misheard. It seemed they had only ever heard of people robbing others, but had never experienced it. In fact, it seemed their entire Blazing Wolf race had never experienced what that meant. They hadn't expected to run into such a person, and especially not such an arrogant person. He was even more arrogant than them. They stopped, but continued to surround Yu Ziaokian. Hearing Long Chen's voice, Yu Ziaokian shook slightly, then looking at Long Chen's arrogant smile, she was delighted. Although she was wearing a veil, Long Chen trusted she was definitely smiling. Brat, you dare to insult our blazing wolf race? What sect are you from? demanded the rank 3 celestial. Although the Blazing Wolf race was tyrannical, they weren't stupid. If this person clearly knew they were from the Blazing Wolf race but still dared to do this, then he had to have a shocking background. Otherwise, he wouldn't have this kind of confidence. So he asked Long Chen for his sect. Have you heard of the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Long Chen smiled, leaning on his broadsword. The Zhuanshan Dao sect. The rank 3 celestial was a bit startled at first, but then he raged. My Blazing Wolf race has no enmity with your Zhuanshan Dao sect. Are you trying to start a war? Pow. His response was a slap in the face. Yu Ziaokian jumped, not expecting Long Chen to start fighting just like that. Furthermore, 
His speed was shocking. The blazing wolf race's innate rank 3 celestial merely sensed his vision darkening for an instant before he felt a burst of pain. His head buzzed and he flew back. The others all tried to attack, but Long Chen had immediately returned to his original location after that slap. He had come and gone like a phantom, finished in just the blink of an eye. It was like he hadn't even moved. Idiot. I've already said to hand over everything valuable. Starting a war? No. What I'm doing is robbing. Do I need to say it any clearer? Cursed Long Chen. Fuck off. Roared the rank 3 celestial. When had he ever suffered this kind of insult before? He directly stabbed his black spirit Long Chen. Split the heavens. Boom. Long Chen's broadsword smashed into the spear. This attack of his was extremely treacherous. Because he had advanced to the 12th heaven stage. His spiritual yuan was extremely robust and it went through 9 acupuncture points instantly without requiring any effort. In truth. In a battle between people of the same level, the number of people that died to big ultimate moves that required time to use was less than 1 in a 100. The other 99 died to an instantaneous technique. An ultimate move might be powerful, but the more powerful it was, the longer it took to use. Moreover, it was easy to interrupt, so such moves naturally couldn't be true killing moves. Instantaneous moves might be weaker, but they could come suddenly without your opponent sensing them. They were the true killing blows. Now that Long Chen had advanced to the 12th heaven stage, he could unleash the first form of split the heavens instantly, so it had become his most terrifying move. He didn't use his divine ring or battle armor and didn't release any of his powerful aura, so his enemy wouldn't feel any fear or be on guard. This was a perfect model of dressing like a pig to eat a tiger. As a result, the rank 3 celestial suffered a miserable loss. He didn't even summon his cry of the heavenly deos before being sent flying. Both of his arms were broken, and his spear was flying out of his grasp. He was horrified because he suddenly realized Long Chen's second attack was already coming. No. PFFT. A cry of despair was cut short as Long Chen's sword landed, turning him into a bloody mist. That cry still echoed through the air, but the crier was gone from this world. You. You dare to kill a member of our blazing wolf race. You. You and your family will definitely be golden light flashed. Countless golden scales devoured the other blazing wolf experts, instantly killing them. Idiots. Every time you open your mouth, you say you're going to kill a person's entire family and sect stupid, snorted Long Chen. He looked down greatly on the ancient race's arrogant mouths. Originally, he had been planning on helping Yu Ziaokian out and just forcing them away. But as soon as he attacked, he found that he couldn't control himself. He didn't know if that was because of his fury in being looked down upon or because they had insulted Yu Ziaokian. He grabbed the treasure item as well as the spatial rings that were still intact. He smiled broadly at Yu Ziaokian. Miss Beauty, look at how heroically I saved you. I even killed the blazing wolf race's experts that were attacking you. About that, do you think you could consider giving your heart to me? Yu Ziaokian thought back to when she had first met him in the Jiuli secret realm. Now seeing his wacky and comical behavior, she smiled. But she didn't say anything back publicly. Fool. You provoked a large disaster by killing them. She whispered once she walked over. That's fine. I already have so much trouble to deal with that I don't care about another blazing wolf race. Let's go have a chat. Long Chen smiled. The two of them left. Walking shoulder to shoulder. Those spectators were all stunned. Feeling as if this world had gone crazy. Long Chen was too vicious. He even dared to attack the ancient races. Furthermore. He didn't just attack them, he killed them all. Just how powerful were the ancient races? Even if he had the Zhuanshan Deo sect as a backer, if the ancient races turned hostile, would the Zhuanshan Deo sect really fight against them for a single disciple? Furthermore, the ancient races were very united. Once one ancient race made a move, the others would also appear. Long Chen had provoked a disaster. What they didn't know was that Long Chen had long since provoked that disaster Noveloon.com right now. What he needed to do was find his old free and unconstrained self. He had found that he was becoming more and more cautious of everything. If this continued, perhaps he would walk along the same path as in the Jiuli secret realm. So when he encountered a provocation, he wouldn't choose to endure and retreat again. Since enemies were unavoidable, why not cut down a few of them in advance? That wasn't a bad thing. However, he didn't know that currently, his name was not only transmitting throughout the righteous and corrupt paths but also throughout the ancient races and other powers. Countless experts were setting their sights on Long Chen in the dark. Chapter 854 Secret Troubles Translator
born to be within a verdant little valley in a mountain range. There was a brook of fresh water. Perhaps it was this brook that gave the valley its life. Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian were sitting on a boulder beside the brook. The fresh water streamed past their feet, and the babble of the water refreshed their minds, allowing them to feel a rare moment of tranquility on the immemorial path. Yu Ziaokian stuck her hands into the water, feeling the water stream past her fingers. There were actually some nameless little fish swimming by their feet, causing her to laugh. Long Chen was sitting beside her, smelling her fragrance, and listening to her fairy-like laughter. He could rarely relax like this. Looking at her beautiful figure, Long Chen unconsciously became stupefied. Long Chen, why don't you take off your shoes and put your feet in the water? It feels really nice, said Yu Ziaokian. Seeing him just staring at her, she blushed. Me? Ah, no. In truth, I'm just too kind-hearted, said Long Chen after a moment's hesitation. Although it would be a fortuitous thing to bathe his feet with Yu Ziaokian, he shook his head. What does kindness have to do with it? Am I being evil by doing this? No, no. What I mean is that if I put my feet in, all those fish will die from the smell. Then I would be evil. Yu Ziaokian laughed. Dislikable. How could it be that exaggerated? On the other hand, Long Chen was confident in his feet. Even if the fish wouldn't die from the smell, they would definitely faint. The nine-star hegemon body art focused on physical strength. Thus, the amount of sweat he worked up was naturally great. Since entering the immemorial path, Long Chen hadn't washed his feet. Once he took off his shoes, that smell might even make himself faint. Last time, why did you leave without saying goodbye? Asked Long Chen. Sorry, Yu Ziaokian's expression became a bit unnatural. Although she was still veiled, he could sense that. There's no need to apologize. It's just that when you left without saying goodbye, I thought I'd never see you again. I felt uncomfortable, sighed Long Chen. Her sudden departure truly had made him feel dejected last time. The world was so huge, and there were countless dangers. Sometimes a single goodbye could last forever. Every time he thought of that, Long Chen would feel unwell. I have my own secret sorrows, said Yu Ziaokian quietly. Her veil was becoming wet. Long Chen summoned the courage to take off her veil, revealing her flawless face. Although he had seen it before, seeing it again still made his heart pound. That beauty could truly infatuate a person. He took out a clean cloth and gently dabbed away her tears. You're worried about implicating me. Yu Ziaokian was moved but also sorry. She took the cloth and wiped her own tears. I'm from a different world than you. My people are enemies of the entire Martial Heaven continent. So I can't have dealings with you. That would implicate you. But you fool. You actually helped Shao Dai when you already knew my identity. I. Yu Ziaokian continued to cry. Her status was special. She wasn't accepted by the world. Anyone who dared to make contact with her would be mercilessly killed. While cultivating the Heavenly Devil Heart Grand Technique, she had received a backlash, harming her soul. She had needed a precious medicine called the Heavenly Netherworld Soul Replenishing Roots to heal. When Long Chen had learned that, he had refined a Heavenly Star Soul Replenishing Pill for her. Once she had taken it, she had immediately recovered. Furthermore, Long Chen had also sent her a pile of Blood Fiend Sea Expansion pills. Those were the best pills for those advancing from Xi'anchen to Sea Expansion. Although the human race had a great deal of those pills, this action of his still made her endlessly grateful. If the outside world learned of Long Chen's actions, he would be hunted down by the entire world, labeled a traitor to the human race. By sending her those pills, he had essentially been handing his life to her. Never in her dreams would she imagine someone she had only met once would treat her so well. So facing him now, she felt both emotional and ashamed. No matter how you put it, we are battle companions that fought through life and death together. If I could just watch as you suffered, I wouldn't be Long Chen. Long Chen smiled. Thank you. Yu Ziaokian smiled through her tears. That was another kind of beauty, like a peach blossom after a rainfall. Ziaokian, I think you should put your veil back on said Long Chen suddenly with a bitter smile. What? Do you not like looking at me? Yu Ziaokian was surprised and a bit disappointed, but she still put her veil back on. No, I like looking at it, but my heart can't bear it. If you don't believe me, just feel. Long Chen pulled Yu Ziaokian's hand and placed it over his heart. Currently, it was pounding wildly. You're doing that on purpose. Yu Ziaokian blushed and turned away, but she could still feel his powerful heartbeat. In all honesty, I didn't do it on purpose, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian's charm was just so strong that it was fatal. 
Otherwise, Long Chen wouldn't ask her to veil herself again. A feast for the eyes was also a delight. Fine, whether it was on purpose or not, I like it either way. Yu Ziaokian smiled. Her hands were lightly twisting the corner of her robes in a bashful manner. She could tell that this was Long Chen's strange way of praising her beauty. She suddenly brazenly grabbed his hand but had a nervous light in her eyes. How have you been since we parted? Long Chen was an old fox in this manner. He knew Yu Ziaokian wanted to get closer but was also embarrassed. He quickly held her hand and said, I've been very well. All I do is fight and kill, and then kill and fight. Long Chen gave her a simple narration of what he had experienced, starting from the battle in the Jiuli secret realm. But he found that she was extremely curious about the world, and she made him explain things in greater detail. As a result, this simple narration took a whole day. Long Chen, you're a good person. It's no wonder that many big sisters like you, said Yu Ziaokian with a complicated expression. How about you stay with us? It'll be livelier with more people, said Long Chen. He felt a bit guilty, as these words were clearly used to seduce people. But seeing that Yu Ziaokian didn't reply, he immediately became awkward. He had ruined the good atmosphere with a single sentence. Ah, Ziaokian, how about I give you a gift? Long Chen suddenly took out an egg, an earth dragon's egg. Yu Ziaokian was startled. Long Chen was also startled. But now that he thought about it, he had already experienced Yu Ziaokian's vast knowledge. She knew the heavens, she knew the earth, and she knew everything in between. Yes, it really is an earth dragon's egg. It's yours now, in the future. You'll have a powerful houseboat. I hope you won't decline, as that will make me feel bad, said Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian looked at Long Chen and suddenly hugged him, surprising him. It seemed this happiness had come too suddenly. If he had known this would happen, he would have given it to her as soon as he saw her. Bastard, you evil person. I know you're seducing me. Yu Ziaokian cried into Long Chen's embrace. Long Chen's excitement vanished. The hand he had been about to embrace her with turned rigid. He didn't know whether he should embrace her or pull it back. How did his pickup arts fail? It was over for him. He had been seen through. As expected, routines couldn't be depended on. He couldn't help but feel regret. But although I clearly know that, I can't refuse it. So you're a bastard. Yu Ziaokian held on tightly, her tears drenching his robes. Long Chen didn't know what to do. His pickup arts had been seen through. This was his first time running into such a situation. He suddenly recalled that Yu Ziaokian seemed to have a kind of mind-reading ability. Thinking of that, he felt a cold breeze on his back. Failure. Failure. Absolute failure. Now that this routine had failed, it was awkward. Yu Ziaokian cried for a while before slowly leaving Long Chen's embrace. Looking at him, she cried. I'm afraid. Afraid of what? I'm afraid to bring you disaster. I'm afraid you'll be killed because of me. I don't fear death, but I am afraid of seeing you die said Yu Ziaokian. I'm not afraid of dying. Long Chen shook his head. That is not the worst outcome. The most terrifying one is that you will live, but you will hate me. That would make my life worse than death, said Yu Ziaokian. Why would I ever hate you? If one day my status is exposed, you'll be hunted down by the entire world. If your companions are all killed one by one, you'll hate me. You'll hate me for causing their deaths. You might even kill me in your hatred. Yu Ziaokian once more began crying. Her words caused Long Chen's heart to quiver. That really was a big problem. He still didn't possess the power to fight the entire world. Ziaokian, don't cry. Let's talk about our future. Long Chen gently sat her up properly. Chapter 855 Cultivating Backers Translator Born to be seeing Long Chen's solemn expression, Yu Ziaokian stopped smiling. Suddenly she felt embarrassed and turned away, facing Long Chen with her back. Ziaokian, do you trust me? Long Chen asked. Of course. Otherwise, Yu Ziaokian cut herself off, blushing. Long Chen's heart pounded. Her charm was too strong. He took a deep breath and calmed himself. Then let's talk seriously about what we can do for each other. I know a bit about your original devil race. Everything I've heard about you is negative, but I'm a rather stubborn person and I don't trust what other people say. I only trust my own senses and intuition. And my intuition says you're a good person, and Xiao Dai was also a good person. Then I am also willing to believe that your original devil race is also full of good people. That is my intuition, thank you. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian was extremely moved. This was her first time hearing that there was someone in this world willing to trust her original devil race. On the other hand, I am full of suspicions of my world. 
So I want to know everything about the original devil race. Can you tell me? Asked Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian looked into Long Chen's eyes. They seemed full of warmth and sincerity, as if looking into his eyes could allow a person to see into the core of his heart. Since you trust me this much, I'll tell you a few secrets about my original devil race, said Yu Ziaokian. From her story, Long Chen learned that the original devil race was an enormous existence numbering in the tens of millions. The place they lived in was called the skyscraping world. That was a minor world that one of the original devil race's supreme ancestors had created. That minor world was the only place the original devil race could call home. When they entered the martial heaven continent, they would immediately be sensed by the heavenly deos, which caused a special phenomenon to manifest around them. They would be hunted down by the martial heaven continent's experts with their full power. However, the skyscraping world was not a complete world, and it did not possess a complete set of laws. When they wanted to advance through receiving the baptism of heavenly lightning, they had to go to the martial heaven continent, to conceal their auras from the heavenly deos, they had to gather devil cores, but they were too difficult to find. After Yu Ziaokian had gathered such a huge amount of devil cores with Long Chen in the Jiuli secret realm, the entire original devil race was excited for a long time. Those experts stuck at the peak of their realm could finally stop bitterly waiting for their turn to use the limited devil cores that had made the entire original devil race feel profound gratitude to Long Chen. That was why his picture had circulated throughout their race, and if any of their disciples roaming the outer world ran into him when he was in trouble, they were to fight to the death to help him. Those devil cores were constructed into special enchanted items that could conceal their aura. As long as they didn't release their full power, they wouldn't be recognized by others. So they had begun stealthily entering the martial heaven continent, gathering the resources they needed. This was the original devil race's first time in countless years having their disciples roam the martial heaven continent in such numbers. It brought them immense benefits. Previously, they had been in a secluded state. Everything was to be done by themselves, which harshly impacted their ability to grow. Now, they were finally able to gather more resources from the martial heaven continent, allowing them to rapidly develop. As for why the original devil race was the world's enemy, in truth, Yu Ziaokian also didn't know. All she knew was that her mother had told her that once she learned that secret, she would no longer be allowed to leave the skyscraping world. Everything really has changed. The original devil race has become the public enemy of the world? Those damn fuckers. Senior, you. Long Chen was startled. The silent eastern wasteland bell had suddenly released such a curse. You can keep chatting, said the eastern wasteland bell before becoming silent again. But its voice contained an unconcealable fury. What is it? Long Chen. Asked you Ziaokian upon seeing the change in his expression. Oh, nothing. Ziaokian, let's talk. I want to cooperate with your original devil race, said Long Chen. Cooperate. You Ziaokian didn't understand. Yes, I will supply you with the resources you need, allowing you to grow stronger, said Long Chen. You Ziaokian was startled. This idea of Long Chen's was too crazy. If the world learned about this, his life would be over. You don't need to be startled. Helping you is also helping myself. My prediction is that this world will sooner or later flip on its tail. I need a powerful ally that can help me when I don't have enough power, said Long Chen. You really trust us that much? Yu Ziaokian was about to cry again. Yes, since I've chosen to trust you, I'll trust you completely. I trust that you'll never betray me. Long Chen gently brushed back Yu Ziaokian's soft hair, completely sincere. Thank you, Long Chen. Really thank you. Yu Ziaokian was extremely moved by his trust. Once she had calmed down a bit, Long Chen continued, When you return, think of a way to send me a list of what you most need at that time. For example, medicinal pills, weapons, armors, etc. I'll think of a way to set up a secret channel to send them back to you. Hopefully, you'll be able to quickly get stronger. That way, I'll also have a powerful backer for myself. He wasn't afraid of the struggles on the cultivation path. But as his cultivation base increased, he was coming into contact with more and more secrets, and he was feeling less and less safe. He felt that if he was alone, if he ended up fighting against an enormous existence, he would definitely be mercilessly exterminated. He had long since been thinking of creating an alliance, but small alliances were useless, and as for supreme powers, they wouldn't care about a weakling like him. As for devoting himself to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, that was impossible. His experiences in the Zhuanshan Dao set had always been full of turmoil and troubles. 
Long Chen had no hopes for the Zhuangshan Dao sect although there were people like Xu Wuhan and Ouyang Qiuayu whom he had good relationships with in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. What about later? Ouyang Qiuayu might be able to help him now. But what about once he entered the head sect? Who would back him then? So he needed to establish a trustworthy alliance. And he hadn't been lying. He didn't believe what he saw or heard. He just trusted the intuition the nine-star hegemon body art gave him. That intuition had never tricked him. Not only could he get a dependable ally, but he could also make a flawlessly beautiful woman feel thankful. Long Chen felt that his luck really wasn't that bad. He told Yu Ziaokian to summon all the disciples roaming in the outside world back. There was no need for them to take that risk. If they were exposed, it would raise the guard of the martial heaven continent. He told her about his plan. Yu Ziaokian was surprised that he had such powerful communication channels. He actually had a relationship with the Huai insect and the Pill Tower. She practically worshipped him for that, causing Long Chen's vanity to be completely satisfied. The general plan was for her to have a list in her mind when she went to ask her clan leader for approval. That way her leader would be able to get an idea of what the plan was about. After all, Yu Ziaokian had to discuss this with the higher-ups, as this matter was too important. But he was startled to learn that Yu Ziaokian's mother was the clan leader. Only then did he recall that Xiao Dai had called Yu Ziaokian the sacred daughter. Ziaokian, how did you come here? Asked Long Chen. Our original devil race has an ancient transportation inheritance. As long as we know the coordinates, we can transport ourselves in. When the immemorial path opens, we can transport in with the assistance of the outside world's transportation formation, said Yu Ziaokian. Did you find anything here? Or do you have some target? Yes. Up ahead, I can sense some kind of summoning. There should be something my original devil race needs there. Long Chen hastily took out his map and asked Yu Ziaokian the general location. He was startled to find that the place she was talking about was marked as the Netherworld Devil Palace on the Xiao tribe's map. Furthermore, that place had been concealed by the aboriginals. So outsiders didn't know that location. Their maps didn't say there was a trial in that region. The two of them went directly over there. Long Chen intentionally put away the map, having Yu Ziaokian led through her senses. He didn't want the map to mislead her. But, a few days later, the place she found was exactly the same place marked on the map. Now it was confirmed that she wanted something in this place. After half a day, Long Chen finally found a mark on the bottom of an unremarkable stone. It was also a transportation formation. The two of them stood together as Long Chen activated the formation. Their vision suddenly darkened as they appeared in a huge underground space. As soon as they arrived, Long Chen's heart shook. This was a huge plaza, and at the center was a giant stone statue. The statue depicted a man holding a sword with both hands. His eyes looked right at the entrance of the plaza, exactly where Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian were standing. An indescribable pressure fell on the two of them. It was like that statue was alive, making people feel an urge to bow down in worship. The two of them walked in and saw eight stone gates. Each gate was 300 meters tall, and each one of them had immortal characters written on them. Long Chen didn't recognize those characters. The reward for this stone gate is actually the peak grade heavenly source extract. That's the heaven and earth spirit spring that my original devil race needs the most right now. Yu Ziaokian excitedly held Long Chen's hand, almost jumping with cheer. Although he didn't know what that was, he guessed that it was about the same as the peak grade divine mortal molting elixir. But from her cheering, it seemed much more important. Then let's go into this trial. Long Chen went up to push the button next to the gate. That should be the mechanism to start the trial. Don't. Yu Ziaokian suddenly shouted. But Long Chen's hand had already touched the button. Chapter 856 Dressing like a god to play the devil translator. Born to be the fortunate thing was. Although his hand had pressed the button. It seemed the button had grown rusty from not being used for so long. It got stuck and didn't immediately activate. Get back. Yu Ziaokian pulled on Long Chen's other hand pulling him away. Long Chen was embarrassed, not knowing what he had done. I sensed what is inside just now. Perhaps we won't be able to obtain the peak grade heavenly source extract, said Yu Ziaokian. Close your eyes. I'll transmit what I sensed. Yu Ziaokian pressed two fingers on Long Chen's forehead. A scene appeared in his mind. At first, it was indistinct, but it gradually became clearer. He saw a long and narrow passage that was filled completely with black insects. Each insect was five feet long and completely black. They had eight legs and two hooks at the front that shone with a cold light. Corpse devouring insects. How could they grow this big? 
Long Chen might not be claustrophobic, but seeing this many insects filling the passage, he felt a chill. The entire passage was overflowing with them all the way to the end. In fact, it was impossible to see the end. At the same time as he was shocked by this scene, he was also shocked by Yu Ziyokian's abilities. This stone gate and the wall had formations that made it so even his powerful soul energy was unable to sense what was beyond it. These are not the outside world's ordinary corpse devouring insects. They are gadfly ants, an ancient variant of the corpse devouring insects. They live underground all their lives, absorbing the death key in the air as food. Without corpses to eat, they will enter a hibernation state and still not die. In theory, they can live forever. They don't have ranks as they are not classified as magical beasts. They are simply one of the world's strange creatures. The poison on their hooks is extremely corrosive, and even seventh rank magical beasts, if they aren't heavily armored beasts, would not be able to stop the corrosion. This channel is almost 30 miles long and 300 miles high. I don't know if it's because they were given too much time that they reproduced, but the entire channel is filled with them. If we opened the door, we would have been drowned by them, said Yu Ziyokian. These gadfly ant corpse devouring insects were too difficult to deal with. Even in the ancient era, they were extremely famous for their terror. They were the nightmare of countless cultivators, as no one wanted to provoke them. Long Chen couldn't help sighing. If only he had a completely sealed armor like Guo Ran's. According to Yu Ziyokian, the offensive power of these insects far surpassed sixth rank magical beasts. A single sting could be fatal. Then how about this? I'll think of some way to draw them away said Long Chen. How? I'll dig a hole here and then open the door, bringing the insect army in. Then you go in and take the treasure, said Long Chen. He could only go with such a clumsy method. If the earth flame was not in slumber, he could use it to attack. These insects definitely wouldn't be able to defend against that. But Huo Long was still digesting the immense energy from the other earth flame. As for Thunder Force, it wasn't very effective against these insects. Will that really work? These insects are extremely fast. They can fly, said Yu Ziyokian. Don't worry, I'm confident in my speed. Long Chen looked around. Suddenly, he flew on top of the huge statue's head. He was looking around for a good spot for Yu Ziyokian to hide. But once he was on the statue's head, he saw a good recess in it. That recess was the notch in the helmet. If she hid here, then unless the insects flew above the statue's head, they wouldn't be able to sense her. It was an excellent hiding spot. Ziyokian, I'll do my best to draw out all the insects while you hide here. Are you sure this will work? I feel like it's very risky, said Yu Ziyokian. Those insects were just too powerful. Long Chen smiled. Yu Ziyokian was still the same Yu Ziyokian. She was incredibly learned, but her actual experience was pitifully low. She was still a novice. Since he had already thought things through, Long Chen didn't hesitate any longer. He spread his divine sense, and at the entrance, he slashed his sword above. Boom. Sword key destroyed the roof. The outside world was revealed. Although the Shao tribe had marked this place, they hadn't come here. In other words, this was an abandoned trial. It was fortunate they hadn't come here. As if they had, they would find that this wasn't a trial, but a deep trap. Long Chen slashed his sword several times, creating a large opening that made it convenient for them if they needed to run. The channel needed to be wide enough so that even if the mass of insects appeared, they could still get out. He had just prepared this when he suddenly frowned. He sensed something. He sent a message to Yu Ziyokian, telling her not to move and to just wait there. He flew above ground and stealthily looked around, sensing the direction. He rushed off Novaloon.com. This feeling was strange and was also familiar to him. He thought he was sensing someone he was friends with. But when he crossed a mountain, he saw a figure that made him stunned. Wang Junmo. This person was precisely the Blood Kill Hall's number one expert. He was looking at a map in his hand, looking for something. He, I've got it. Long Chen stealthily crept back, spreading some medicinal powders to change the look of the ground. It quickly began to change color, and according to a normal inspection, it would look like it had been thousands of years since anyone had come here. He then took out Flying Rainbow, a ray of light soared into the sky and then returned. He had just been about to add some more elements into the mixture when he sensed Wang Junmo moving. Although he couldn't see him, that familiar feeling was growing closer. That feeling came from Wang Junmo's sword. Back when he had stabbed Long Chen, his sword had been dyed by his blood. For some unknown reason, he was extremely sensitive to his own blood. He had actually been able to sense Wang Junmo because of it. This was destiny. 
How could Long Chen let this opportunity slip by? He shut all his pores and once more scattered medicinal powders, erasing the leftover odor in the air. He couldn't leave behind any clues. A peak assassin like Wang Junmo would immediately see through the slightest mistake. After completing this, Long Chen returned to the underground plaza. On the way, he continuously sprinkled medicinal powders, concealing his anew Ziaokian's auras. Ziaokian, close your pores. Don't release the slightest aura. Follow my lead. We've run into a precious person. He repeatedly warned her to keep herself completely concealed. Then he asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Senior, help me out. It's just a little thing. What is it? He, it really is just an insignificant matter for you. Wang Junmo flew underground. Just now, he had seen a flicker of light coming from here. Although he hadn't seen it clearly, he had still flown over. As soon as he arrived, he had seen the underground cave and carefully entered. He constantly looked around, also paying attention to the footprints on the ground. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. It was fortunate he had come prepared and hidden all the markings. Even if there were signs that people had come, they seemed extremely old. There were no clues. The immortal Dao is transcendental. While all living things have mundane troubles, destiny exists in the mortal world, and priceless treasures belong only to the fated. Wang Junmo had just entered the plaza when an ancient voice reverberated throughout the room. It possessed a shocking weight to it, as if each word was the ringing of a monastery temple's bell, shaking people's hearts. It was like the teachings of gods, something no one would dare to disrespect. These words came from Long Chen's mouth. However, the Eastern Wasteland Bell was adding some special effects. Even Yu Ziaokian was stunned. She didn't understand what was going on. The two of them were hiding in the recess at the head of the statue. Long Chen was enveloped by some sort of holy light, making him look like a god. He was reciting some thought-provoking and profound Buddhist allegories. Little fellow, you really are talented. Such nonsense words are spouted from your mouth without the slightest hesitation. Even the Eastern Wasteland Bell had to admire this ability of his. He, it's all thanks to Senior's cooperation. Work with me until the end, laughed Long Chen. Who's there? shouted Wang Junmo, his sword already in his hand. This lord is the great spirit god subordinate, the seventh divine general, Huayaniya Denide, said Long Chen. Wang Junmo's heart shook. He stared at the huge statue, not saying a word. He was somewhat unable to believe that this statue in front of him was alive. But after his initial disbelief, he heard the divine charm and immortal Dao within that voice. There was no way a human could make such a sound. Disciple is Wang Junmo. Greetings, Senior Huayao. Niaya Denide. Please forgive me for my previous offense. Wang Junmo bowed. This divine name Long Chen had come up with was too awkward sounding. If it weren't for Wang Junmo's great memory, there would have been no way for him to repeat it. You're not kneeling in front of this lord? You must be insincere and disrespectful. You have no destiny with my treasure. Even if you are, Imputa's disciple, the rules can't be broken. Originally, Long Chen realized he was about to make a slip of the tongue and say he was from the Blood Kill Hall. But he suddenly realized his mistake and stopped. Luckily, the Eastern Wasteland Bell had taken his place to speak. Hearing the name Imputa, Wang Junmo was shocked. That name could not be randomly spoken. Other than the Blood Kill Hall's higher-ups, no one knew that name. Even he had only earned the qualifications to hear it half a year ago. Wang Junmo immediately knelt on the ground, prostrating himself. Disciple was rude. Please forgive me. Equals who I on the identity. This name is a homonym for equals trick dupe and our curses. You can just treat them as fuck you. On a curse scale, they rank middling. Chapter 857 Your soul is light. So there's destiny translator. Born to be yes. Not bad, not bad. Seeing Wang Junmo prostrating himself toward him, Long Chen felt entirely content. He really was an evil person. By saying not bad, he meant Wang Junmo was obedient, but he didn't say anything else. So Wang Junmo didn't dare to get up. Senior, disciple only accidentally there was nothing accidental about it. This lord was the one who drew you over. I'm prepared to give you some good fortune, said Long Chen. Many thanks, senior. Do you know why I released a manifestation to draw you over? Disciple doesn't know. Only now did Wang Junmo realize the light he had seen had been released by this divine general. His guard lowered by quite a bit. Look down and look at your shadow. Wang Junmo looked down. Under the light of the runes on the eight stone doors, there was an extremely faint shadow around him. Those who enter the divine palace will be illuminated by immortal light. The shadow is a projection of the soul that shows whether you have a destiny or not. Those with dense souls have no affinity. 
but those with light souls do. Your soul is light, very light. PFT. Cough. So you have an affinity with this lord, said Long Chen. Senior, don't play around like that. You'll expose me, said Long Chen. Just now, the eastern wasteland bell had almost laughed. Sorry, truly sorry. I'll control myself, apologized the eastern wasteland bell. It hadn't expected Long Chen to be so immoral. He was cursing him for being a bastard. Cough. So only someone with a soul that is light has the affinity. Even Wang Junmo felt like directly saying he had a light soul was strange. Correct. Those with light souls have an affinity with me and can obtain my treasure, allowing them to change the course of their lives, said Long Chen. Change the course of their lives? Disciple doesn't understand. The course of your life, your destiny. My divine soul rests here awaiting the faded person. My sole duty here is to pass on my number one divine item. The 8 Desolation 6 Direction Heaven Earth Splitting Kyankan Divine Sword to someone who has an affinity with it. If such a person accepted it, I could finally return to my true body, my mission accomplished. As for who has the affinity, it'll be up to you, said Long Chen. Disciple still doesn't quite understand. What do you want me to do? Asked Wang Junmo. There are 8 doors here and immortal characters at up each door. You can take a look and tell me what you think. I'm ashamed to say that I can't even recognize a single one of those immortal characters, said Wang Junmo. He, that was best. Originally, Long Chen had been afraid he would see through some clues. He was immediately relieved and continued. That's fine. This lord will explain. These eight doors are called the eight immortal ghost doors. There is only one immortal door and seven ghost doors. Within the immortal door is my eight desolation six direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword. The other seven ghost doors have no reward at all. Once opened, the natural energy around you will instantly kill you. Wang Junmo became covered in cold sweat. Just what kind of trial was that? Of eight doors, only one allowed you to live? That was just a death trap. I won't say any more useless words. Although your soul is light, I can't be sure you truly have a destiny with it. Everything will go according to the rules. You have three options now. First, choose one of these doors, leaving your life to fate. Second, leave. You cannot choose one of the doors, and you'll definitely survive, but you won't obtain any treasure. The third option is to offer sacrifice. You can offer anything valuable you have to this lord. If its quality is high enough to make me ascend in satisfaction, I will give my 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword to you. After saying that, Long Chen's heart pounded. He thought of the treasure that Wang Junmo had snatched from him back then. But Wang Junmo wasn't so easy to trick. He was silent for a moment before saying, May I ask senior, what level of weapon is your 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword? What level? He, little fellow, are you looking down on this lord? Raged Long Chen. Senior, please stay calm. Disciple just wants to know. HMPH. This lord's 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword was my peerless divine weapon from before I became a god. Although it is not a true divine weapon, it has already reached the half-step divine item level. To a little cultivator like you, this kind of martial weapon isn't something you can imagine. With your current cultivation base, you can't even guess how valuable a half-step divine item is. It's already beyond the scope of your understanding. Wang Junmo was shocked. Half-step divine items only existed in legends. Although he had heard that the martial heaven continent had divine items, those were just legends. They were far beyond his current level. A half-step divine item was truly not something that someone of his level could obtain. However, people were always greedy. Disciple is willing to offer a sacrifice. This is a treasure item. The soul-suppressing pagoda. Is it satisfactory? Wang Junmo steeled himself and took out a refined little pagoda. Long Chen was shocked. When it came to martial weapons, especially those on the treasure item level, bells, cauldrons, and pagodas were the most difficult to forge. Those were the weapons that exhausted the most effort from the forging master, but their power was also the greatest. In truth, Long Chen was extremely moved, but he said, the energy is too low. Energy? What does senior mean? Asked Wang Junmo. Long Chen didn't immediately reply. Wang Junmo took out a bracelet that was covered in marvelous designs that looked like strange beasts. Long Chen had an urge to immediately grab them. This bastard really had money. Compared to Wang Junmo's treasure items, his own wealth was garbage. Wang Junmo was the true rich fellow. Senior, this treasure item is a precious accessory. Once the runes on it are activated, it can release an amazing attack. 
It is a rarely seen energy storage treasure item, said Wang Junmo carefully. Garbage, lied Long Chen. Wang Junmo took out another four treasure items, and each of them was an amazing item. Long Chen's eyes turned blue with greed. Just how did this bastard have so much money? But for his ultimate target, Long Chen clenched his teeth. Senior, disciple is incompetent. Perhaps I cannot satisfy your requirement, said Wang Junmo helplessly. When he thought about it, that made sense. Compared to a divine item, what he had was naturally garbage. However, he truly longed to obtain that 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword. Looks like you aren't the destined person. I'm also helpless. It seems I can only wait here, like a lamp slowly running out of oil. Sighed Long Chen. Wait a moment. Senior, disciple has something here. Does it satisfy you? Through Long Chen's reminder, Wang Junmo came to a sudden comprehension. He took out the lamp he had obtained on Insect Island. This is an ancient lamp disciple obtained through fate. But I was never able to figure out its use. So I don't know if you want it. Long Chen cursed. Fate? That had clearly been his. But he had stolen it. That counted as fate? This thing's not bad. This should be what you wanted. Correct. Asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Yes. This idiot stole this treasure from me. Now I can trick it out of him. My intuition tells me it's something good. Senior. Continue working with me. Long Chen once more began speaking to Wang Junmo. It should be precisely this thing. To tell you the truth. I don't really need your things. But this trace of my divine soul is lying in wait for the destined person to take my 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword. I need enough items to let my soul become full so I can ascend to the divine realm. Otherwise, I'll never be able to leave. This lamp of yours has already run out of energy. Even if I devour it, it still won't offer me enough power. Unless, unless what? Asked Wang Junmo nervously. Unless you can offer a few more pieces of garbage as a sacrifice. Otherwise, once I give you my 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword, I will have to stay here forever, sighed Long Chen. Senior, that's fine. If you need anything, just ask, said Wang Junmo. For the 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword, he was willing to offer sacrifice. That's too embarrassing. It would make me feel like I was tricking my junior. A loss of status, said Long Chen with embarrassment. Long Chen. You're too shameless. Even the Eastern Wasteland Bell wasn't able to endure any longer. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to reply. That lamp was originally his. How was it shameless for him to take it back? So what if he was tricking him? Senior, look. Is this lamp with seven treasure items enough for you? Wang Junmo respectfully held out seven treasure items. Sigh. Child, you really have a good heart. If I still decline, I would feel sorry for you. The seven treasure items in Wang Junmo's hands disappeared. They appeared in his primal chaos space. It was the eastern wasteland bell that had helped him take them away while he was in charge of where to put them. Aya, Long Chen suddenly let out a disappointed cry. Senior, what is it? I'm actually still lacking just a bit before fully satisfying my soul, said Long Chen helplessly. Wang Junmo clenched his teeth and took out two more treasure items. But those two treasure items quality was not as high. Long Chen estimated that even if Wang Junmo had more treasure items, there wasn't much of a chance that he would bring them out. He couldn't go any further, or he would be seen through. Excellent. My soul is finally fully satisfied. I can leave whenever now. But before leaving, I'll help you obtain my 8 desolation 6 direction heaven earth splitting Kyankan divine sword, said Long Chen with great satisfaction. But his mouth was curled in an evil smile. Yu Ziaokian had been watching all this from beside him. Seeing that evil smile, her scalp turned numb. She could already think of the final result. Turn around and walk to the third gate from your left. Press the button, and press hard, or the gate won't open, said Long Chen. Wang Junmo was delighted. He walked over to the gate Long Chen had indicated, and he pressed down hard on the button. The gate slowly rose. Once it was open, Wang Junmo's face instantly turned green. Bastard and Light Soul sound the same versus so the title would also sound like you're a bastard. So there's destiny, and whenever he says he has destiny because his soul is light, it sounds like he has destiny because he's a bastard. Eight desolation and six direction are just ways of saying all directions six. North, south, east, west, up, down, eight. North, south, east, west, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. Kyankan is another way of saying heaven and earth universe. Heaven-earth splitting refers to the creation of the world where Pangu split apart heaven and earth. 
Chapter 858 The Miserable Wang Junmo Translator Born to be the huge gate opened. A flood of countless gadfly ant corpse devouring insects surged out. Originally, they had been in a hibernation state. But as soon as the gate opened, they were woken up. Seeing the astonished Wang Junmo, they immediately charged towards him, brandishing their hooks. Senior, shouted Wang Junmo, don't be afraid. They're just some insignificant gadfly ant corpse devouring insects. It's just a minor trial to obtain my half-step divine item. With your power, killing them shouldn't be difficult. Kill them, encouraged Long Chen. Wang Junmo thought about it and felt that it made sense. He had gone through quite a few trial regions, and any trial where you could obtain treasures had to have guards. His sword danced in the air. Sword key formed an immense net. Any of those insects that touched that sword key were blown apart. This person's very powerful. Yu Ziaokian was startled. Wang Junmo hadn't even released his full power, but just from this, she could tell his power. Good. Just continue like this. These insects are nothing, and you'll quickly kill them all, said Long Chen. But these words were a bit less confident. The huge room here had become a sea of insects now, and there was still an unending stream of them coming from the gate. Most importantly, these latter insects had decorative marks on them. They should be comparatively stronger gadfly ant corpse devouring insects. Their powerful defense was comparable to 7th rank magical beasts. When they arrived, Wang Junmo had no choice but to release his full power. His sword key was incomparably sharp as he slaughtered them. Even Long Chen couldn't help being startled. Wang Junmo was truly powerful. Each movement of his sword was refined to the peak so that it saved energy. The more powerful insects were also helpless to do anything to Wang Junmo. Long Chen continued to cheer for Wang Junmo, encouraging him. But the flood of insects still didn't end. Wang Junmo was completely submerged in them. Long Chen could only see some dim light flashed within that sea to judge where Wang Junmo was. Xiaokian, it seems there's even more than you said, said Long Chen as he watched more and more insects fly out. I, I'm not sure why. Perhaps I only saw a portion of them, or maybe there's more than one channel in there, said Yu Xiaokian with a bit of bewilderment. Boom. An immense ray of sword key suddenly erupted creating an opening amongst the sea of insects. Excellent. Continue just like that. The gadfly ant corpse devouring insects are almost all gone. Once you pass this final wave, you'll have one. Encouraged Long Chen. Wang Junmo roared. It was unknown what secret Artie had used. But that translucent sword in his hand suddenly blossomed with a blinding light. Endless sword key erupted. Any insects that entered within 300 meters of him were blown apart. He rushed along the ground slaughtering countless insects. He was incredibly fast and powerful. As Wang Junmo slaughtered them, the ground was covered in the insects' broken pieces. Not good. Wang Junmo's expression suddenly changed and he flew into the air. He found that the black blood of the insects contained poison. Just now, a bit of it had touched his robes, corroding a hole. Up in the air, he became an easy target for the insects. They surged towards him. Because he flew up, Long Chen took up a shield to hide him and use Iaokian. It went without saying that Wang Junmo was incredibly powerful. He was slaughtering more and more of the insects. Their broken pieces had piled into a mountain on the ground. Senior, how are there so many? Aya, I've already said that this is the final wave. Hold on. Two hours later. Senior, how are there still so many? I can't hold on much longer. Aya, I've already said that this is the final wave. Hold on. Victory is within sight. Another two hours later. Senior. How are there still so many? Is there even an end? If this continues, I really won't be able to go on. Aya, I've already said that this is the final wave. Hold on. Think of what it would be like to possess a half-step divine item. Wouldn't it be like being completely reborn? Come, under my radiance, your heroism will be unrevealed, and your power will multiply. Even Long Chen was speechless. Six hours had passed, but more and more insects were coming out. Furthermore, they were even stronger. Their hooks were a golden color, and when Wang Junmo's sword met them, it would only cause sparks to fly. Long Chen and Yu Xiaokian looked at each other with goosebumps. They really had underestimated these gadfly ant corpse devouring insects. Ha ha ha, didn't I say that as long as you continued, there would be hope? Look, no more are coming out. Long Chen finally saw the flood of insects come to an end, but as soon as he left, he became dumbfounded. It was unknown what the eastern wasteland bell was thinking but it actually forgot its sound effects. Long Chen, it's you. Hearing Long Chen's original voice, Wang Junmo immediately recognized him and roared with endless killing intent. 
Since he was already exposed, he couldn't be bothered to reproach the Eastern Wasteland Bell. He stood on the head of the statue and waved hello to Wang Junmo. Hi, how are you? Right now, Wang Junmo was surrounded by 10,000 of the more powerful gadfly ant corpse devouring insects. That was the final wave, and their bodies were incredibly strong. Even Wang Junmo's treasure item sword had difficulty breaking their defense. Just a moment before this, Wang Junmo had been hoping to ask this great spirit god 7th divine general Huayani Iodenide to help him at a critical moment. But now realizing that this great Huayani Iodenide was Long Chen, his head suddenly became crystal clear. He also suddenly realized the true meaning of Huayani Iodenide. Then thinking of the treasure items that had been tricked out of him, he reached a level of rage that he had never experienced before. Unable to bear it, he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Ah, Long Chen, I'll kill you. Wang Junmo charged at Long Chen, but Long Chen was standing at the top of the huge statue, while he was near the bottom, surrounded by insects. Even after trying several times, he wasn't able to break out of their encirclement. In his fury, Wang Junmo was struck in the leg by one of the insects. It left behind a small cut. That small cut began to rapidly grow, corroding at a speed visible to the naked eye. It reached the bone in just a moment. Wang Junmo was horrified, but he was also a ruthless person, and clenching his teeth, he directly cut off his leg. That leg turned into mush in just a few breaths after it left his body. He had only just severed his own leg when he felt his left arm turn numb. His left hand had also been attacked, although it had just barely broken his skin. That terrifying poison was already starting to rapidly circulate. Do you see them? Asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Yes, I see them. Long Chen nodded. He was looking above Wang Junmo's head. Those are golden fate lines. Although this person seems to be in a crisis, his golden fate lines are still steady. That means that while this crisis looks extremely dangerous, it doesn't threaten his life, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. It was currently using a special technique to allow Long Chen to see Wang Junmo's golden fate lines. Wang Junmo had no choice but to cut off his arm. He hatefully glared at Long Chen, but clenching his teeth, his translucent sword turned into a ray of light that pulled him away. Wherever that light went, those insects would be blown apart. Over half of the insects encircling him were killed. This was clearly Wang Junmo's life-saving trump card, and it was an extremely powerful one as none of the insects were able to stop it. No wonder his golden fate lines didn't even twitch. He still had such a terrifying trump card to fall back on. He, many thanks for teaching me this, senior, said Long Chen. Long Chen, the rest of the insects are coming towards us, warned Yu Ziaokian. Currently, only a few of the elites of the gadfly ant corpse devouring insects remained. Their numbers had been greatly reduced thanks to Wang Junmo, and it would be extremely easy for them to handle the rest. He, little mama really is useful laughed Long Chen. This was his first time feeling like Wang Junmo wasn't so hateful. Long Chen took out his broadsword. He knew that although these remaining elites were strong, killing them wasn't too difficult. That was especially true since he specialized in brute force. Wait a moment. There's no need to use foolish brute power to get rid of these remainders. Take out that ancient lamp. I'll teach you how to use it, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Chapter 859 The Usage of the Immemorial Altar Lamp Translator Born to be Long Chen pressed his hand on the ancient lamp. An ancient rune lit up, and when Long Chen blew on the wick, a light red flame flew out, instantly enveloping half of the room. What startled Long Chen was the fact that the gadfly ant corpse devouring insects were instantly turned to smoke when they were enveloped by those flames. They vanished. Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian were astonished. They looked at the shabby ancient lamp. Who would have thought that it possessed such terrifying power? Amazing. I struck gold this time. Long Chen was delighted. As expected, this ancient lamp was an absolute treasure. However, after getting excited, he suddenly found that the wick had dimmed after this attack. He jumped in fright. It's fine. As long as it doesn't get contaminated with the blood key of cultivators, it will never completely extinguish, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. So, does that mean I can't use it against enemies? asked Long Chen. You can use it against enemies that aren't cultivators. For example, magical beasts. The lamp wick of this immemorial altar lamp was refined through the life essence of supreme experts. Inside are their blessings. The immemorial altar lamp isn't a killing device. In truth, it's a priceless cultivation assisting treasure. Once you reach sea expansion, it can help you cultivate faster, and your key sea will grow to ten times the size of others. 
Even in the ancient era, it was an extremely rare treasure. A sect could build their entire foundation around it. And it's not just useful for the sea expansion realm. At the foundation forging realm, if you have its assistance, your immortal platform's foundation will be incomparably stable. Long Chen, you truly did obtain an amazing treasure this time. It seems your fortune has taken a turn for the better. Praised the Eastern Wasteland Bell. His fortune had taken a turn for the better? Long Chen refused to believe it. All he believed was that good things required a matching strength to protect. Otherwise, even if you obtained it, it would be taken by others. The loss and regaining of the immemorial altar lamp was a good example. During this critical moment, Wang Junmo had revealed immense battle power. Long Chen realized that if he had fought with him all out on Insect Island, he most likely wouldn't have been his match. Because Wang Junmo was an assassin, he was specialized in killing his opponents in one shot and in one-on-one -on -one combat. Most likely his abilities had been restricted by the fact that he was facing an endless sea of insects, which was the only reason he was forced to flee. Hearing that the immemorial altar lamp couldn't be used to face enemies, Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. Such a powerful killing tool couldn't be used to kill. That was too irritating. If the immemorial altar lamp kills too many experts, their resentment will be absorbed by it and extinguish its core. Then it will become trash, said the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Long Chen immediately thought of how those insects on Insect Island had drawn cultivators near the lamp before killing them. So their goal really had been to extinguish the wick. Put away the immemorial altar lamp for now. It has absorbed too much resentment and needs to rest. As for your earth flame, it's in slumber and can't help expel that resentment. It's not good to use for now. I'll teach you how to use it to help your cultivation later. Long Chen solemnly put the lamp away. This treasure was too precious. It was his greatest harvest since arriving on the immemorial path and would be the foundation of the Dragonblood Legion's future rise. Let's go. Little Mo has already helped us open the door. We can't fail to live up to his kindness. Laughed Long Chen. Who is Little Mo? Asked Yu Ziaokian. It's that good person who helped us kill all those insects. Laughed Long Chen. Long Chen. You really are evil. Yu Ziaokian also couldn't hold back a laugh. Long Chen had long since told her about what had happened with Wang Junmo. This time, he had been conned miserably by Long Chen. Not only had he lost so many of his treasures, but he had also fled with only half of his life. It was unknown whether he would directly go insane from anger once he stopped running. The two of them entered the passageway and were shocked to find quite a few bodies of gadfly ant corpse devouring insects inside. However, they weren't true insects but the results of their molting. Those elite insects that had come out in the end obviously had to have experienced some kind of metamorphosis to possess such power. They had been comparable to 7th rank magical beasts. A disgusting stench came from the passageway, but Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian endured it. If they closed their pores and stopped breathing, it would cause their spiritual perception to sharply drop. In such a dangerous place, such an action was foolhardy. No wonder, the two of them walked in 300 meters when they saw multiple channels ahead. Each channel was so long that they couldn't see the end. That was why there had been so many insects. All these channels had been filled with the insects. How curious. After this many years of no food or water, how did these insects survive? Wondered Long Chen. Gadfly ant corpse devouring insects are a special corrupt insect. Legend has it they are one of the poison insects that the corrupt god raised with his own body. With the corrupt god's blessing, they can survive forever. Although that's just a legend that can't be trusted. There really is a special rune on their backs that can absorb death key. Although this place is sealed and they can't leave, those runes can still absorb death key from outside despite the restrictions. Whether it is flying birds, roaming beasts, or even the insects in the ground, as long as they die, they will release death key. The gadfly ant corpse devouring insects absorb that death key to grow and breed. Furthermore, their most terrifying aspect is that they can enter a state of quasi-death, and in that state, the amount of energy they use is essentially zero. So in theory, their lifespan is unlimited. Even if they survived since ancient times, it's still reasonable. Explained you Ziaokian. Ziaokian, you really are erudite. Praised Long Chen. He really had to prostrate himself in admiration towards her learning. Even if he exhausted himself to death, he would never be able to catch up to her. Haha, <laughs> I'm the one who has to admire you. You really know how to babble. The immortal Deo is transcendental. While all living things have mundane troubles, destiny exists in the mortal world, and priceless treasures belong only to the fated. Wang Junmo wasn't the only one who believed it. Even I believed it. At that time, 
I really thought you were the incarnation of a god. You really are dislikable, said Yu Ziaokian a bit resentfully. She felt that she was foolish for falling for it. Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Talking about reasonable things wasn't his strong point, but when it came to spouting nonsense, he had never been afraid to compete with anyone. Tell me, how did you come up with such a random name? Yu Ziaokian was a simple and pure person. She felt there was definitely a problem with Long Chen's name, but she didn't know what. Who I on the identity? That really wasn't something he could explain. Curse words weren't anything to be proud about. Long Chen shook his head. It was just a random name I came up with. It doesn't have any meaning. No, you're definitely lying, said Yu Ziaokian, looking into Long Chen's eyes. You can't trick me. You definitely had some kind of meaning behind them. Nidaid. Nide? Nide is in your uncle. Long Chen immediately began to sweat and nodded. All right, it's just your uncle, nothing else. Look, we're at another fork. Take a look and choose which path we should take. Long Chen really didn't want to keep talking about this topic. He had also experienced how difficult Yu Ziaokian was to deal with. She had a kind of innate spiritual perception that allowed her to tell when people were lying. That was awkward. This way, the two of them continued onwards. Insect molds cracking beneath their feet. They had already made four turns, and seeing this twisting cavern, they finally understood why there had been so many insects. We've arrived. They finally reached the end of the channel. There was a three-meter door of light in front of them. Long Chen thought about it and decided to let Yu Ziaokian enter first. This kind of danger of the unknown was something he should have tested first, but with his bad luck, it really wasn't advisable for him to do that. So he had Yu Ziaokian go in first. Once Yu Ziaokian entered, he followed right behind her. As soon as he entered the light door, he let out a startled cry. As soon as he was in, he found that he was floating in water. He hastily closed all his pores, afraid that something was wrong with the water. But Long Chen found that Yu Ziaokian was incomparably excited. He asked, this is the peak grade heaven source extract. Yu Ziaokian nodded. She took out a small jade vase. Its runes lit up and the liquid around them began to pour into it. It was clearly a spatial storage object. As the water level descended, Long Chen realized they were in a square space 300 meters wide and 2500 meters tall. At the center was a giant stone stalactite. Heavens, there's so much peak grade heaven source extract. Long Chen, am I dreaming? Yu Ziaokian couldn't believe it. It's real. I've encountered the same thing. Back then, I almost thought that it was a bathing place. Laughed Long Chen. Thinking of his ignorance back then, he felt a burst of embarrassment. Long Chen. You really are my lucky star. Yu Ziaokian was extremely emotional now, and she tightly hugged Long Chen. This peak grade heaven source extract was of the utmost importance to her original devil race. It could raise their overall talent without any drawbacks. It was practically a divine elixir. Obtaining all this peak grade heaven source extract, she was incomparably excited. She drank a bit right there and then, immediately feeling completely refreshed. Even her spiritual strength increased making her so excited that she seemed like a happy child. Once she calmed herself down a bit, they returned to the original plaza with the eight gates. The other seven gates also had heaven source extract as their ultimate rewards, but their quality was worse. Furthermore, each channel behind each gate was also filled with gadfly ant corpse devouring insects. For them, risking danger by fighting against all those insects wouldn't be worth it. The two of them left the underground cave. They had a brief rest while Yu Ziaokian used the heaven source extract to increase her power. Long Chen found that Yu Ziaokian's energy was very special. It was different from any other cultivator's energy that he had ever seen. But that peak grade heaven source extract was able to purify and increase that strange energy inside her. It was like a treasure just for the original devil race. Once she woke up from her meditative state, Long Chen offered her a certain thing. Here, have a fruit. Chapter 860 Arming the Alliance Translator Born to be when Yu Ziaokian ate the fruit, she was stunned as she suddenly noticed that other than her core energy, another kind of energy had appeared within her body. When she circulated that energy, not only was she not restricted by the world, but she even received a kind of blessing from it that increased her own power. Long Chen, what fruit is this? Yu Ziaokian was completely shocked. How could there be such a heaven-defying existence in this world? I call it a heavenly day of fruit. It's one of my secrets. So please keep it from others, said Long Chen. I swear I won't tell anyone. I won't even tell my mother, said Yu Ziaokian solemnly upon seeing how serious he was. Ziaokian, 
I'm sorry, it's not that I don't trust you, but this heavenly Dao fruit is too important. I have no choice but to be cautious, said Long Chen. I know, and I understand. Thank you for sharing such an important secret with me, said Yu Ziaokian gratefully, holding Long Chen's hand. He nodded. As long as Yu Ziaokian didn't bother him with how he had such a thing, he was at ease. Then how are your gains? Yu Ziaokian stood and formed a hand seal. A huge image appeared behind her. That image seemed to be a flower, but not a flower. It looked like a cross between a flower and a leaf. It was extremely bizarre. A powerful aura erupted out of Yu Ziaokian, soaring straight into the clouds. At the same time, space began to rumble around her. What a powerful aura. Long Chen was startled. Yu Ziaokian was extremely powerful. This was just her initial control over her new heavenly Dao energy, and she was clearly unfamiliar with using it. However, this aura showed that she was even stronger than he had thought. Yu Ziaokian pointed her finger three times, and three rays of sword key shot out. Three holes appeared in a distant mountain. It then collapsed, shocking Long Chen. In just a few breaths, Yu Ziaokian had managed to release such an attack with an unfamiliar energy. Her comprehension abilities were almost terrifying. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Long Chen, I can actually control the outside world's energy now. When I run into enemies, I don't have to worry about exposing myself anymore, said Yu Ziaokian excitedly. Although she was veiled, her smile had turned her eyes into beautiful crescent moons. Long Chen nodded. This result was excellent. If he could obtain more heavenly Dao fruits, then more of the original devil race's experts could roam the martial heaven continent. Ziaokian, how much of your true power can you release with the heavenly Dao energy? Asked Long Chen. This was an important point. Around 80%. Just 80%. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. That's already amazing. This heavenly Dao energy is even better than what I originally thought. When I tried it, I found that other than my core divine abilities, many of the techniques of my original devil race can be used with it. Although their effect is slightly lower, we don't need to be so helpless when fighting now. Furthermore, other than our strongest core divine abilities, even some magical arts can be used without revealing our devil mark. It'll be extremely safe. Previously, we had to rely on devil cores to deceive the heavenly deos. We couldn't fight outside, because once we did, it would exhaust our core energy, and we wouldn't be able to replenish it without returning to our skyscraping world. The more we used, the more dangerous it would be. That's also why I always ran when I encountered enemies. Against those Blazing Wolf races experts, I really had no way to handle them. It was fortunate that you came, or I might have been exposed. But now I can use Heavenly Dao energy, and I can replenish it whenever I want. It feels delightful. Yu Ziaokian's excitement still hadn't lessened in the slightest. She had always been unable to fight back against enemies. That was extremely depressing. But now she was finally free of it. Then that's good. Is there anyone else from your race that entered the immemorial path with you? Asked Long Chen. Yes. This time, 37 of us entered. They're all our race's elites. Said Yu Ziaokian. Can you find them? We have a secret art to communicate. Good. Then I'll give you some heavenly Dao fruits. And you distribute them. Otherwise, it'll be too dangerous for them. Said Long Chen. You have more. Yu Ziaokian was startled. How could he have so many heaven-defying fruits? Okay. I'll immediately gather them. Yu Ziaokian suddenly formed hand seals, and a mark appeared on her forehead. That was the devil character, but that devil character had a faint golden glow to it, and it appeared sacred and hallowed. When it lit up her face, she seemed like an immortal. Six hours later, someone new arrived. It was a handsome man with shoulder-length hair. He flew in front of Yu Ziaokian and bowed according to an extremely ancient etiquette. Greeting sacred daughter. Greeting senior Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian returned the etiquette and said, It's been hard on you. Did you run into any dangers? Thank you for your care. Disciple only ran into some minor troubles with nothing worth mentioning. Seeing that Long Chen was a bit dumbfounded, Yu Ziaokian smiled and said, You don't need to find it strange. Everyone in the original devil race recognizes you now. Many thanks senior Long Chen for your benevolence. Otherwise, there would have been no way for us to leave the skyscraping world and serve our race. That person once more bowed toward Long Chen. Long Chen felt extremely awkward. He hastily cupped his fists in return. That strange bowing form was extremely particular, and he wasn't able to imitate it. Yu Ziaokian laughed. Long Chen, you don't need to be so courteous. 
Long Chen nodded and directly gave that person a rank 2 heavenly Dao fruit. That person glanced at Yu Ziaokian and saw her nod before he received it. The second person quickly arrived after the first, then the third and fourth. Long Chen was startled by this efficiency. In just one day, the majority of them had already gathered. They had to have some kind of secret technique that allowed them to cross the wider abysses, or there was no way they could have gotten here so quickly. Once everyone was gathered, there were only 32 of them. Sadness appeared in Yu Ziaokian's eyes. Those other five people had clearly fallen. Sacred daughter, don't be aggrieved. They died for the race, and they were our honorable warriors comforted a woman. Yu Ziaokian nodded. The reason why she was so sad was because those fallen warriors hadn't died because they hadn't been as strong as their opponents. They had died to keep the secret of the original devil race. Dying because they hadn't revealed their true power. To not be exposed. They had chosen to die. That was what made Yu Ziaokian feel the worst. They were true warriors worthy of respect. Three days later, all of them had consumed the heavenly Dao fruits and become rank 2 celestials. They all had another kind of energy in their bodies that made them incredibly excited. Their gratefulness towards Long Chen reached a new level. Long Chen, do you want them to travel alone again or come with us? Asked Yu Ziaokian. Staying with us is too dangerous. Long Chen shook his head. Although they were all experts, his enemies were too powerful. They hadn't reached that level yet. Although they had consumed the heavenly Dao fruits and used the peak grade heaven source extract, they weren't on the level of Yu Ziaokian. Thus, they couldn't fight alongside him. Before you leave, I want to say a few words. If you do run into danger, use your full power to kill your way out. Even if that exposes your identity, it's fine, said Long Chen. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian and the other original Devil Races members were all startled. Since we've chosen to be allies, I treat you as my brothers and sisters. Your lives are the most precious. Even if you have to expose yourself, that's not important. The most important thing is for you to live. Even if the heavens collapse, I will be there to help you carry them. Your lives aren't able to impact the big picture, so don't pointlessly sacrifice them. All right, you can all go. I wish you good fortune. Huge waves rose in the hearts of the original Devil Races members. Although his voice was calm without immense passion, it revealed his confidence. At the same time, the care within his voice warmed their hearts. They once more bowed toward him and went in their own directions. They needed to find more opportunities and resources for their original devil race so that they could grow. Thank you, Long Chen. Yu Ziaokian's eyes were slightly reddened. She also didn't want her people to die, but she didn't dare to say the same words that he had. She didn't possess that confidence. You thanked me so much. Are you really not going to consider giving your heart to me? Teased Long Chen. A nice thought. Yu Ziaokian lightly hit him and turned away, wiping away her tears. She was completely red. After some light teasing of a beauty, Long Chen opened his map. The two of them were currently in the middle section of the eastern region of the immemorial path. If they continued forward, they would reach another huge block that was almost the same size as the 10,000 Beast Forest. But this huge block was actually a castle. That area was a trial region that had to be traversed in order to get deeper into the eastern region. However, it could no longer be referred to as a trial region, as it had completely broken down. It was the only huge ruins in the eastern region. Ziaokian, let's go. I'll bring you to a very lively place. Long Chen smiled. He could run into many friends there. 